Thank you, Ducky Duck. Oops. Okay, my phone is set right. Let's take a break.
<laughs> you know, I love my bonnet. I live for my bonnet. I'm on live on Facebook too. Um, it's making me do it the long way. I hate that. Why are you doing this to me, phone? Oh. It's muted. I need it myself. Somebody told me it's muted. Can you hear me, Ducky? Somebody said it was muted. I'm like, how is that muted? Well, I know you're not at the beginning, Ducky, but do you have any questions for me while we're waiting for people to come in here? table is so messy uh, I do not have an easier way to put on lashes unfortunately I wish I did sorry I dropped my lipstick wish I had an easier way to put on lashes um because I still struggle with putting on lashes the best thing I can say is get some magnetic lashes um or mine too <laughs> Mine too. I, I think it just comes with practice. Honestly, that's the best thing that can happen is, is that you practice putting on the lashes as much as possible. Um, because, yeah, I don't know any easier ways of putting on lashes. I wish I did because it would help myself out as well. So, I'm trying to set these phones up, but they're not, they not cooperating with me. some strange reason everything wants to fall now now I get on here I'm trying to give it some time before people get on here but it's been like 10 minutes it's two people on YouTube on there's one person on YouTube and there's two people on Facebook so hi Mel I haven't seen you in so long. I miss you. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. Yeah, I need to try it. I'm intimidated by the, by the extensions because there's so many individual ones. And I'm so used to, you know. Oh, it's two people on YouTube too. Yay. Hi. Three. Oh, wow. Yay. Hi, y'all. How's everybody doing? I know it's a Sunday. So, hi, boo. I need some tips. I got the tips. Y'all can ask me anything. Um, I guess I'll maybe wait for a couple more people. And then I'll get started on my, I guess, a beginner-friendly look. Beginner-friendly. So today, um, I'm talking about um, just beginner-friendly products, affordable products, answering any questions people might have about makeup. Um, and I'm also going to do my makeup with some of my favorite stuff that I have here. Uh, 
So, yeah. That's what we're talking about today. Because I get asked questions all the time. Um, and, of course, I answer them, you know, because I'm not rude. But um, I get asked questions all the time about makeup and stuff like that. So, I figure, oh, why not do a live about it and let people ask me, you know, live what their questions are. Um, thank, thank you. Thank you. This my, this my, this my, this my best friend right here, you know. Well, you know, not my best friend. My best friend would kill me. But, yeah, you know. I love it. I, I got it off Etsy. I will share the Etsy shop that I got it from so y'all can go get it. Because I believe it's still out. I've had it, like, a little while now, though. But, I, yes, I love it. It's butterflies on it. Monarch butterflies. So, yes. When the group chat don't respect your bonnet. I just got a notification. Somebody, somebody gonna snatch my bottom off. Rude as hell. Yeah, girl, girl, Etsy. Etsy is Etsy is life, okay? I need to stay off there. I need to stay off Etsy. I need to stay off Ulta. And I need to stay off Amazon. Them, them my, you know, if I had a man, those would be my the ones I'd be cheating on them with. So you don't know. Sorry, I missed a comment. Because for some reason, YouTube makes the comments go away. Thank you. They press ons. Yep, they are press ons. The Kiss Gel, um, what is it? Gel, Gel Fantasy. Kiss Gel Fantasy press ons for like eight dollars. Full manicure. Period. Amazon is the devil. Amazon is the devil. I, be, I yes, I full heartedly believe that. Yes, you yes, Dana, you are bestie. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, oh snap, these don't look nice. Yeah, I, um, that's why I was a little late starting the live. Was I'm like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna put the nails on. You know, try to be cute on camera, not going on in no stubbies. You know, so I decided to put them on. But yeah. I don't do them very often. It's probably like on my second time wearing wearing press-ons. So I'm kind of excited they look so nice. And they're not thick either. And they don't have that like weird thing when you press down and it gets that little mark. Yeah, they don't have that. So these they really good. The thing's worth it's worth a buy, worth the eight dollars. <laughs> but somebody on YouTube has said that they uh don't know where to start. And then and starting it's kind of like, it can be intimidating because there's so many different products. Um, so, how can I say, how can you start? I mean, trial and error, because I know like a lot of stores, like drug stores don't really have where you can try it. Like if you go to places like Rite Aid or Walgreens, you can't really try on the makeup. Um, but Ulta does. Ulta will swatch it for you. Um, even Sephora will also do like a color match. Um... And you can kind of go from, from there. Uh, there's also, you can also kind of like figure out your undertones. Like you could be the same complexion as a person, but y'all foundation be completely different because of how your undertones come out. Like sometimes I have olive undertones. Sometimes I have like more warmer undertones. So it's kind of hard to really tell depending on like the time of the year. Um, so yeah, I would just say trial and error unfortunately, or just go to like places like Ulta or Sephora and just have them swatch the makeup for you. And you can kind of like go from there They'll make it a little easier. Yes. I love to love super scent. Yeah. Yes. Press on, press on. <laughs> but, um, yes, I love super sense makeup. I live for, I listen, if I could be a crayon cutie today, I would drop everything to be a crayon cutie. I'm trying to tell you, I love the crayon case and they sell it in walmart now just so if y'all don't know they do sell it in walmart now i absolutely love the crayon case i have her actually i have her chalk dust powder to as one of the products i'm gonna use today um i was gonna use her highlighter but did i go with something else i thought i went with something else maybe i will use her highlighter but yeah i love i love super's makeup like and she's also somebody who was a beginner makeup artist when she first started out. Um, yeah, so 
yeah. Yeah, you definitely should get it. I I highly, highly recommend um the crayon case, especially for affordable. Um, and it's black owned. Gotta support black owned businesses out here, you know. So yeah, she's one of the ones I definitely support. <laughs> Thank you for the likes. I appreciate it. Oh, any more questions before I go ahead? I guess I'm going to get started. Take my glasses off. Now, your eyes got to readjust when you take them joints off because, you know, us blind people. Yeah. But, uh,. When I'm doing my makeup, I always like to start with um, my brows. Well, uh, first, before all that, I start with primer. Primer is like the very, very base. And I will be posting like a, a tutorial if you want to. Uh, I'll try to post this as well, the lives. And I will also post a tutorial later of a different um, answering some questions that I had got to. They really don't. They don't know the struggle. If you if you don't wear glasses, man, like, huh, it's the worst. Like. <laughs> so it's the worst but um I, I think i'm gonna get contacts because it'll make it easier for me when i do my makeup but yes primer you always want to start with a good primer if you don't know where to start um primers you can't really go wrong with them i have yet to come across like a bad primer um because it all depends on like what your skin is like if you find yourself to be more oily um, you want more mattifying primers or you find yourself to be more dry. You want more hydrating. Or if you've got kind of like normal skin like me, we kind of pretty much can use anything. Um, and it all kind of just works. Um, so I have today, I have the Angel Veil, which is also I mentioned in my video that I'm going to post. I have the Fresh and Fit uh, by Essence. Ooh, look, dropping stuff. That by Essence. And I also have another one of my favorite brands is the Elf Jelly Pop Primer. Um, this one is more for hydrating. This one, I believe it's for like normal to dry, like anybody's kind of skin. And this one is also, I think, a normal to dry um, for uh, people with skin. Because our sister who is oily, she likes this one a lot. Um and not saying that people who have oily skin can't use hydrating products. It's just you would have to like set your foundation so it doesn't get too oily too fast. Um, hi, Yana. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm pick. I guess I'm gonna use the Fresh Fit, um, Fresh and Fit Awake Primer, and it's a, it's also a glow primer as well. So it'll kind of give like that glowy look. Yet, yeah. oh man, Jelly Pop Primer is. Listen, <laughs> exactly. So primer is not just really to it. You just put it on your face like lotion. You don't have to use a whole lot of primer. Um, a, like legit, like a pea size amount will probably go across your whole face. Um, but if you feel like the need to use more, of course you can use more primer. And I usually will kind of give it some time to settle um, and kind of get like that tacky feeling um, just so just because it, it helps better with your makeup sticking because, you know, you want it to how you can tongue tie. You want it to sit a little bit because you want to get tacky because it grips onto your foundation a lot better um, and your concealers and things like that. Exactly. <laughs> Not to be confused with the dust ball podcast. Because they are the worst. So we're gonna give this a couple, couple like a minute or two, nothing too, too long, too crazy, and um, I'll move on to the next thing. I usually would color correct, which is another thing you can get. Um, a Holy Girl product that you'll see a lot of makeup artists use is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is this right here. Oh my God, this is the peach corrector. Um. But it also, of course, it comes in all different color correcting shades. You talking about the primer or the so the primer is the fresh and fit 
um, primer. It's a glow primer. So if you see like my face is kind of like glowy now, kind of like shiny, so to speak. So that's what this one is. Sorry, if I'm going too fast, let me know. Don't let me, don't let me lose y'all. And this is the peach corrector. This is more for people who are probably like my shade and lighter. Um, will be good for um, a peach corrector. There is a darker orange one, of course, for um, darker skin women and your know, faces. I have the darker one, but I don't know where it's at. So, we're using this one. <laughs> um, and this is just to conceal your dark spots, which is also what we'll talk about. I'll talk about that in my video. Um, and I like to put it, you know, yeah, yeah, Jazz. This will be good for you. Um, I actually had a a coworker who had to who was a beginner who went into the hair store, and she bought this because they told her it was a concealer. And so, right before she came into work, she went to put it all over her face because you know she just was trying to conceal some her under eyes and some spots that she had on her face, some acne scars and things like that. And it was like really, really orange. She was like really fair skin, so it was really orange on her. So she had, she was actually late because she had to wash it off her face. Because I'm like, yeah, I'm like that's not a concealer; it's a color corrector. And color correctors are for like when you have marks and things like that. They don't necessarily conceal and give you like a lighter coverage like you would like a regular concealer. So, and I'm just gonna blend this a little bit with my beauty blender. Well, not to be confused with the, with the brand Beauty Blender. This is my beauty sponge, which I say you also should have at least one of these um, in your uh, in your makeup bag because you need it. Trust me. When, for when you have like powders, like brushes work too. But if you want like lighter coverage, a little more control over your makeup. Hi, y'all that came in here. Um, you definitely want to have a, a beauty sponge. It also helps like when you have like say you put on a little too much of something or you want to tone something down. Um yes, these are, are their life. Okay. I love I love beauty blenders. I have so many beauty blenders or like beauty sponges. Hi Aunt Sheila. So yeah. I did, I damped it a little bit. I uh, make sure you use it when it's damp so it doesn't absorb so much of your product as well. Um, and we can move on to the next thing. So I try not to use my do my foundation first because I'm not very good at doing my foundation and then doing um, my brows and stuff. I don't. It just doesn't work out well for me. So me personally, I always do my brows first. I even do my eyeshadow first as well. Um, because you have that fallout. And I know they can use like powder, but I don't like I don't I don't like a very matte face. And I'll show you what I mean once we get to that point. Um this one here I'm using is another holy grail product that I like to use in my routine, which is a brow gel. Um it's not tinted, it's clear. There are tinted ones, and this one's by NYX, which is another of my like I said, I'm using mostly my mostly my favorite brands today. Um and this just lays your brows flat. And helps them to like kind of stay in place as you, you know, uh, draw them on or fill them in, however you do it. I know some people have more brows than others, so I'm more of a fill-in kind of person than a draw on, as you can see, because I have all these damn eyebrows. And as you brush, you want to push it and kind of like lay it flat. It's going to look a little crazy at first, but that's okay. So anybody got any questions for me while we do this? Thank you for the likes. I appreciate it. 
Uh oh, my little mom's tails are weak. Yeah. yeah, she can have a hug soon. Okay. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Hold your tablet. You should be charged now. Hey, yep. Go ahead, bring it to me. I'll turn it on. <laughs> um, yes, you can have one bag of chips. All right, go ahead, go over there, go that way. Oh, here with his little rolls on. Go ahead, take it with you. Okay. All right, so, and again, um, letting your products set in between each thing that you do um, will help them to last longer and keep it from sliding and all that kind of great stuff. Um, I'm going to use today, speaking of the crayon case, I'm going to use my crayon case uh, brow pomade. I've been missing using my pomade. I usually use a pencil. That's what I've been doing lately, using a pencil, which I can bring that as well. Let me get one second. My best friend does um, a pencil and brow gel. Um, I usually do just mostly brow gel. Let me find my pencil. Where's my pencil? Hmm. Everything be in one spot until you need it, and then it's not there anymore. I can use this one. Um, but if you're not comfortable using just brow gels, of course you can use a pencil instead. And this pencil, uh, it's got two sides to it. This is the more thicker side of the pencil for like more like filling in. And this is the more fine side right here to uh, you know, give you more like hair-like strokes when you uh, when you go to use it. I don't really have a preference of which side that I, I use because, like I said, I'm, I just fill them in like that. It's kind of go along with the brow hair. And because I'm going for a more beginner friendly, um, kind of simple look, I won't go too crazy with the brows. Like I said, I'm in no way, shape or form a professional. Um, I just kind of know what I'm talking about sometimes. <laughs> so feel free to ask me any questions that y'all have and I will try to answer them the best to the best of my knowledge. Oh, and another tip I, I guess I have is uh, be nice to yourself. You know, when you're beginning, you kind of want to be great right off the bat. And nobody's great off the right off the bat. They're just not. Um, so if you mess up, don't be afraid to start over. Um, I know it can be incredibly frustrating. Like, it took me a long time to be satisfied. I, you know, still... Um, I kind of like mess up sometimes and I'll overdo my brows or overdo my face and I'll just be like, Ugh. but you know, it's ways to fix and everything. The, oh, the best concealer. Oh man. I gotta say LA girl pro concealer. Hi. <laughs> it's probably one of the best concealers. Um, and it's only like, like $3 at the hair store or at Ulta. This is one of the best concealers, but also the elf camo concealer. Um, 16 hour camo concealer is also one of the best concealers as well. And I think this is like $6 as well. It could be like eight bucks, but nothing here is over $20. Nothing I'm using today is over $20. So this is a really good one. The LA Girl Pro Conceal is a really good one. Um, 
And there's also one by Milani. I forget what it's called. It's also a really good concealer. Um, especially if you're going for uh, more or the more affordable size, which we'll talk about today. Those are some of the best concealers that are out there right now. Uh, my favorite brow pencil. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, my favorite brow pencil. Okay, so probably this this Revolution pencil right here. Um, also, the She Glam um, brow pencil. This is the eyeliner, but there's a brow pencil where it has the pencil and, like, the... I guess gel um, on the other end. That's a really good one as well. And they're only like two, three dollars. This one I, I believe I found this at TJ Maxx for like three dollars. Um, but yes, yeah, Makeup Revolution is this one. Those, those are my two favorite. Do I go lighter or darker with my skin complexion? Um, I don't know. Hmm. I guess it kind of depends. Um. Hmm. I if I, mm, I I can't I can't think. Do I go lighter or darker? I guess I'm I'm like in between. Um, because it depends. Like, because you know, different foundations give different finishes, and they have like even though they, they may match, they don't match completely. So I guess I try to I try to be as close as possible. So I'm gonna say I'm like an in between kind of person if I go lighter or darker because I wanted to like you know match exactly. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm I guess I'm an in between kind of person. I never really thought about it, like do I go lighter or darker? But yeah, so I, I like mine to match as much as possible because um, I'm more of a fan of um, I like glam looks. Don't get me wrong, but I'm definitely more a fan of the um, the everyday everyday kind of looks. So yeah. And just taking the the end of that brush. Yes, tomorrow. And get some chips. Yes, we'll get you some chips out the box. Okay. <laughs> and just, you know, brushing my brows upwards. Sometimes I'll take it across the top and just kind of like lay the top kind of flat to give it some shape. And just follow my brow until it's laid how I want it to be. You can keep the feather brow look if you want to. If you want that look, I know it's like the trend now. Um, but you know, sometimes. Okay, here. <laughs> um. You know, I like them to look more, more kept. You just had some. Go ahead, go get a bag. I'm sorry, I missed the comment on YouTube. Talk on kids. I thought they would be sleeping a little longer. Yeah, I, <laughs> um, I do, I do. I have a lot of brow, but um, like I said, pencil, pomade, you can use them both interchangeably or you can use one or the other. Um, they all, it, it works. And just like a good way to shape out your brow. A good way to shape out your brow is to find your um your points, uh, which is like putting taking a pencil and putting it up against your nose like this, and kind of using it as like a compass. Like you'll mark here, kind of turn it, and you'll find like the high point of your brow. But keeping it against your nose, it's it's a weird thing. But keep it against your nose, you'll mark that point, and then turn it, and then. Till you reach like the end here and it'll you'll mark that point. So that's a good way of like give you an idea where your brows, you know, kind of should be. Um I'm looking for my pencil, my pencil, excuse me, my brush that I usually would use to fill in my brows. Um, any other questions while I try to find my pencil, my brow brush? Mm -mm. 
No problem. Yes, it is done charging. Yes, you yes, I highly recommend trying a brow gel. Um almost every beauty brand makes one. Um but I love super uh the crayon case. Yes. Uh did the TV give me back my tablet? Yes, it did. I love I love the crayon case. Um the Revolution makes one. And there's like I said, there's also higher end ones like Anastasia Beverly Hills makes one as well. Um so it's all in which which you want to go with, but we're talking about affordable. So affordable, Elf and the crayon case probably make the best ones to me. To me. So um, you all slam me right now. So I just took a little bit, and you don't need a lot of brow gel. Like you just. You really don't. Um, well, brow, brow pomade. You don't need a lot of pomade. Just dip your pencil in there. Just enough to get some on the pencil. I mean, on the brush. They are throwing me off. And like I said, I just fill them in. I don't really do too much. And I follow along my eyebrow hairs. Sorry, let me get this kid out of my room. Mm. You know me. Mm. Yeah, it's coming on. Go ahead, go sit down in your room. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Room, just room. Both of them. Okay. This pomade, um, if y'all missed it, is called the Crayon Case. It's the Crayon Case Eyebrow Pomade. Sorry, I'm, I'm live and... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. It was done. You good now? Yeah. I promise y'all won't see me fight no kids today. And I just fill them in the other one. Sorry, I'm trying to be live in two separate places. So if you see me look away, that's that's why. I'm live on YouTube and I'm live here on Facebook with y'all. So I'm trying to keep it, you know, seamless so everybody can see. And of course, I'm using my cameras as my mirror because... I'm blind with my glasses. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So banana powder. Somebody asked on on YouTube, what do you use banana powder for? So banana powder. That's just the name of it. It's basically like baking powder. Uh, thank you. You know, I be trying. Somebody said my brows on fleet. You know. Um. Basically, that's to set your concealers and kind of give like a highlight under your eye. Um, and in like your more lit areas, like under here is your more lit area. Your forehead, of course, is your more lit area straight down your face. Like all this is your lit areas, um, here and just below your cheekbone, kind of like to chisel out your cheeks. If you want to go for a more like contoured look, that's what it would be for. Um, 
But the banana, the, the name banana is because it's like a more yellowish kind of light powder. Um, that's what that is. And brow, don't don't fret, cause brows take a long time. I'm trying to let it take a, take too long, but you gotta take your time when you're doing your eyebrows. Um, so if you're trying to get ready and you want to do your eyebrows, make sure you give yourself time to get them right, cause you don't walk around looking like you got permanent marker marks on your face, and they be looking like, why her brows so damn dark? I'm just fanning the front a little bit just so it looks more natural. I mean, they are natural because most of it's mine, but you know, with the pomade on it, um, looks a little a little bit more feathered, like eyebrows would look. So, yeah. All right. Uh, so my next thing, of course, still staying with the brows is to clean up um around the brows and for that yeah there we go had to make sure my brush was clean because I'll, I'll use my brushes to hold to hell <laughs> oh wasn't that nice somebody on YouTube's calling me a nigger well that's lovely appreciate it anyway um, hi, little sister. Oh, sister Lamaya is on here. I use both. Um, I try to use more a more. Um, so I got asked just for people on YouTube. Yeah, I I'm moving, moving. Don't worry about them people. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> that happens on the internet. Um. So somebody asks, do I use a more skin tone concealer or do I use a lighter concealer when I'm cleaning up my brows? I use both. Um. Only because I like I like the look of it. I like to kind of like highlight under here, like as close to my brow as I can. Um, and I like over top to be more um, more skin toned. So I have a concealer here. It's more on the warmer side for me, which is also why I have this lighter concealer. Also because I put eyeshadow down here. So I like for my eyeshadows to pop as much as I as much as I can get them. Um, so. I will kind of mix it, um, but I do try to go for a more, um, yeah, somebody's, somebody on YouTube was being rude, but that's okay. Don't, I'm not offended. It's the internet. You can't help it. Um, but yeah, that's why I have the lighter concealer to kind of like mix them together. So it gives it a more, um, my skin tone kind of look or as close to my skin tone as I can get it. Um, you do want your concealer. Um, depending on the look you're going for, to be about a shade or two lighter um, than your own face. Because um, if you want like a more highlighting concealer, you can go lighter. If you want a more skin tone type concealer, you can go darker. But don't go too dark um, if you're concealing um, because, you know, you don't want to be looking like a raccoon around this area. <laughs> um, but you can go darker if you're using it for like a bronzer or a contour. So I'm gonna do that now. I do have a concealer that's more my tone, but I dropped it behind my dresser. And if if y'all seen how heavy my makeup dresser is, Jesus Christ. Um, but this is a dope foot applicator. Um, usually I'll just put it on with the applicator just below my brow. 
Um, not quite touching it. Only because I'm going to use my brush to kind of like chisel it out, so to speak. And don't judge me, those of you who do know how to do makeup. Um, this is just the way I do it. Like I said, I am not a, in no way a professional. So, this is e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. camo, um, the e.l.f. camo concealer. I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but that's what this is. Yeah, e.l.f. camo 16-hour concealer is what this one is. Well, both of them are, actually. Both of them are the e.l.f. camo concealer. And again, with your beauty blender, if you have too much product, you can always just blend it down. And it kind of like brings them together. So like I said, it's a little on the lighter side than I needed it to be, but it's okay. And it's a full coverage. It's a full coverage concealer. If anybody was um was wondering, full coverage is basically means like it's gonna you know cover a little more. Um, you'll see less of your, I guess like spots and things like that. If you get one that's more on your skin tone range. Um, Um, they fine. It is called the 16 Hour Elf Camo Concealer. It is sold on their website. And I will try to like get links and things for each of these products. Um, and I'll link them like in the description or um you know or in the comments. Because <laughs> I don't think the live will have like its own description. I'm not sure. I don't go live very often. And again, just taking that same. Since the colors are kind of married together, I'm going to take it up here on top of my brow. And just follow my eyebrow. It's in getting as close as I can get without totally messing it up. Because my perfectionist quality is going to make me do my brows to death. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so if I'm moving if I'm moving too fast for anybody or if you need me to repeat something, don't worry. I have no problem doing that. Cause I'm here to help. And I know sometimes like I tend to talk fast when I get excited. I mean we from Philly, so you know. Yes, it should be a color. A color number. Somebody asked, was it a color number on this one? Because we're more, sh we're kind of close in, in skin tone, um, me and my sister Jazz. So I'm going to tell you what the shade is in one hot second. Welcome to my new viewers. Hi, y'all. I'm also live on YouTube. If you want to go give me a view over there. On the lighter one, it is medium sand. Probably can't see. It's kind of really tiny. Um, medium sand. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying. 
um, for the lighter one and for the more warmer one. Where the hell did it go? Oh, it is deep olive. So it's a little, like I said, it's more a little too warm for me, a little too, a little, just a little bit too dark. You probably can't really see the name, but it's called Deep Olive. What's this one? Deep Olive and uh, Medium Sand. So I'm probably somewhere like in the in-between of these two. Um, I got the lighter one, of course, to do um, some highlighting concealer for my more, more glam days. <laughs> yeah, you take your nose, Jay. Like you know, I got you, girl. Okay. So, see. And if you get concealer um, in your brow, don't worry. You can always just go back and kind of like fill it back in and build it back up. Or even I don't have Q-tips. But Q-tips is also a good thing to have um, when you kind of fudge up just a little bit. Um, you know, because they help. It makes it a little easier to clean up. Um, oh, God. Didn't I tell you you bring your own stuff? My best friend told me she plotting on it's plotting on stuff next time she come out here. No, but your own stuff. You still on punishment. You on product punishment. So yeah, just gonna fill that in a little bit more. Any more, um, any other questions? I'm going to go ahead and do my other brow. What the heck? Oh. And also, your brows are, um, I don't know if you ever heard of this, but your brows are sisters, not twins. That's always like a rule of kind of like, a rule of thumb, I guess. I mean, you can get them, if you can get them identical, I mean, by all means. But oftentimes, more often than not, nobody's face is completely symmetrical. So your brows do tend to look a bit different than each other. 
not completely off. You don't want to be going out here with one thin brow, one thick brow. You know, looking like me and one of my sisters. But, <laughs> you know, um, but don't fret if one seems a little more chiseled or, you know, they don't look quite exactly the same. It is not the the end of existence. This is how your face is. This is how everybody's face is. Like I'm just I'm one of those people that my brows look nothing alike. Um, one of them is a little thicker than the other one. I do when I do fill them in, I do try to get them to be as close to get close to as close to being the same as possible. But like I said, they're sisters, not twins. And sometimes, sometimes like even though I have to hold my brush kind of awkward because for some reason I can't seem to do my left side quite well. The left side comes out better. I'm just looking like, are you serious right now? Like so I'm just blending out the concealer so I can give myself an idea where how far in I need to go. This chair I'm in is so uncomfortable. Hey, Saida. But yeah, feel free to ask me any questions. Y'all not y'all are not distracting me at all. I am here for y'all. So if y'all have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them. disrespect of these eyebrows right now. Hi! Hey, girl! How are you? Do you put setting powder on your eyebrows once you're done? I don't! I know people that do, though. But I, I don't. Um... I've always been scared of doing that. Um, but I also don't have a problem with my brows like rubbing off or anything. Um, I, I'm good. You know, out here trying to each one teach one, you know. <laughs> um, but no, I no, I don't put I don't put setting powder on my brows once I'm done. Um I feel as though like the products that I use are pretty good with um keeping my brows in place <laughs> so yeah i don't do that but i guess I, i've seen people do it before and i was like i wish i was that bold i really do but i'm not not doing it to myself because i'm the kind of person once my makeup is done it's done like you know I, if i if i'm satisfied i'm leaving the house <laughs> well you my best friend asked that question you would know you've been here like listen it's i'll be like i'll, I'll say f it in a minute like oh well how i look is how i look y'all don't like it i don't know what to tell you. <laughs> i think my my beauty blender was drying out i should have dampened it a little more For real, I get, I get, I, when I'm doing my makeup, man, I, I get so, 
so frustrated sometimes. Cause like, because I'm a Virgo, so and I'm a perfectionist. So I'll be like, it's not right. It ain't right. <laughs> yes, I do dampen my Bleedy Blender for a smoother blend. I didn't dampen it enough, I feel as though, because um, it's already kind of feeling like kind of tight and dry. Because I didn't want it to be too wet. Uh, but I should have wet it just a little bit more. But yes, I do dampen my beauty blender, my beauty sponge. Um, beauty blender, beauty sponge, whatever. People be like, oh, it's not called a beauty blender. It's called a beauty sponge. Beauty blender is the brand. I'm like, it's a beauty blender. Tell me what it is. Yeah, it just definitely, definitely just depends. Yep. Like, yeah, because, like, I hate people, like, out here, you know, they got to get try to get brand specific. Yes, there's a brand called Beauty Blender. Yes, absolutely, yeah, there is. But they're all Beauty Blenders. Like, they all do the same thing that they're, that, you know, they all have the same function. Like, a motorcycle is a motorcycle and a bike is a bike, but doesn't make a bike, doesn't make a motorcycle not a bike just because there's a motor. It's still a bike. It still has two wheels and it goes. Right. <laughs> You're some <on> Amazon. <laughs> exactly. If it works for you, it works. Like, it doesn't matter what the daggone thing is called. They exactly they do the same thing. Like you know, those people who only you who only buy like high ends, like kind of get overly technical and overly you know, I guess protective of their stuff because, you know, they paid more money for it. I'm not one of them people. It all worked the same. It all looked good. As you can see, all these products that I use so far are from the drugstore and I like them better than my high ends. I, I honestly do. I like drugstore products better than my high ends. Like, I feel like they all do the same thing, especially if you know, you know, what you're doing, right? You make it, I, I, people, shoot, Jeffree Star is a world-renowned makeup artist, and he used kids' makeup, and it looked like a beat face. And I'm like, how do you do that? How did you make dollar store makeup look like $100 makeup? But that's because makeup doesn't, shouldn't really have, doesn't really have, the quality doesn't have a price on it. Like, you know, it's all in how you do it, what you do with it. So these are my brows. That's how they're going to stay. I, <laughs> I told myself, don't you get on that live doing your brows for the next four hours. Don't, don't, don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to the people. Because I, listen, my best friend that sat through some, some angry times of me trying to get my brows together. And she like, girl, ain't nothing wrong with your brows. Let's go. And I'm like, yes, it is. There's something wrong with it. So anyway, um... Moving right along. For those that just came in, so we used our primer um, today. I used the Fresh and Fit um, primer by Essence. Where did it go? Oh my goodness. I lost my primer on this table that I didn't move from. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we used that. Uh, but I did show other primers, the Angel Veil primer. I don't know how I lost it. I'm sitting right here. I didn't go anywhere, I promise. Um, bye, Anthony. <sighs> anyway, I used this. Here go, I found it. This primer today is a glowing primer, and I also used my LA Girl Pro Conceal um, color corrector. One of my close friends is on here messing with me to my wood foundation. And he's a very much very straight male, married male, talking about what kind of foundation he need. If he don't get out of here trolling on me, I'm going to tell Karina on him that he and him messing with me. Anyway, so we used that um, to just to conceal um, a few dark spots that I had. Um, so now, oh, I can use my foundation. Uh, or should I do my eyeshadow first?
I'm going to do my foundation first because I'm going to show y'all a way that you can do your eyeshadow after your foundation is done. Just for the sake of the video. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead with my foundation. I love to love foundation. I love it so much. This is one of my favorite foundations right here. This is the uh, Fit Me Matte. Fit me, not fit me, fit me dewy smooth foundation. Um, <laughs> and it's one of my favorite foundations, like my absolute favorite. There are so many shades of this foundation. Um, I'm gonna like it's like not finding your shade in Fenty at this point because I feel like everybody has a shade in Fenty. I feel like everybody has a shade in the Fit Me foundation. Um, it's a drugstore foundation. Uh, yes, you are too dark for this one. It's not made for you. <laughs> and this is in the shade 330. Um, for those who are my shade twin, this is the shade that we are during the wintertime. During the summertime, we're more with 335. Hi, Dad! Oh my God, my dad is watching my live. Um, so yeah. Um, this is shade 330, uh, 335, depending on how much you're outside. I don't really go out much in the summertime because it's just, it's just, mm. but if we're, you know, on the beach or hanging out and things like that with the kids and stuff, um, the darkest we get is about 335, maybe 336, maybe. Um, that's about our summer shade. Um, so I'm going to whip my foundation brush. Yeah. Uh, which one of these am I using today? So I'm going to use this one. Um, I usually don't name all of my brushes because I feel like as far as like brushes go, like uh, my friend said on, on uh, YouTube, you can get them off of Amazon. You can get them off Wish. Do y'all remember Wish? <laughs> you can get them off Wish, um, which is where this powder brush is from. This is one of my favorite brushes. Um... So it's all in what, what your preferences and how you like them. Um, this is a BH Cosmetics foundation brush, the number two brush. This came in like a pack of a, a bunch of brushes. Um, so that's a good drugstore brand. Um, BH Cosmetics makes them. Elf makes really great brushes. Real Technique makes really great brushes. Milani um, also makes good brushes. I haven't tried Juvia's Place brushes, uh, nor have I tried beauty bakery brushes so i'm not really sure about those brands um but i did try the crayon case brushes and she also makes some good eye brushes as well so that's just to give you an idea of, of different brushes that you could use um unfortunately this foundation doesn't come with a pump you can buy pumps on amazon you can buy anything on amazon at this point i am encouraging everybody to go to amazon because i'm addicted to amazon so you have to be addicted to um <clears throat> <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't come with a pump, so you kind of have to pour it out. So be very careful when you do. Um, mine is nearly gone, so you know I gotta get my pro <laughs> my brush. So I just hold it to the brush and kind of let it seep out as much as it can um, onto my brush, and then I will um, start. So you just kind of like tap it on your face. Some people will take the you you use their fingers and kind of like swipe it on and then use the brush. Um, I don't want to get too much foundation in my hands, so I'm just going. I just put it straight to the brush. And you can also use a beauty blender um, to do this process as well. I'm not going to use my beauty blender today, only because it's not damp enough, and I don't want to have to pause the live on y'all just to go wet my brush. I mean, wet my beauty blender. But. I will do that, you know, funny half face thing so y'all can see the difference between the coverage. And I take my foundation across my eye just to make my, my concealer a little more seamless if I feel like it's a little too light um, under there. And of course, you can conceal back over there if you want your eyeshadow to pop a little more. So um, you, can, you can see the difference between this side of my face. And that side of my face <laughs> is very, very different. And taking it up into your forehead. Sorry, let me sit back so YouTube can see. And over here. 
And I would usually take like my beauty blender just to blend it. Because I don't take it too far down my neck because, you know, I have double chins. So, yeah. Don't need it getting all over my shirt and my clothes if I had anything on that I cared about. Which I don't right now. So, it doesn't really matter. But to avoid that, it is. It's very therapeutic. I love makeup. Um, You know, and blending it. If you don't want to take it too far up your forehead into your hair, um... You know, you can always use your beauty blender to kind of blend it out and give it like a more seamless, um, I guess a more seamless line, you could say. Yeah. And note that I'm not stroking my face with the foundation. Um, I feel like that leaves streaks no matter what brush you use. And it also moves your concealers and things that you have on underneath kind of around your face. And you don't, you don't want that. I'm gonna use a little bit more because I'm kind of running out of foundation on the other side. And this is a, um, it's more of a, I think medium to full coverage. So if you want a more full coverage and you don't want to kind of have any peek through of any spots, if you didn't conceal, um, if you didn't conceal them or color correct them, you can always, of course, go back in over top of the foundation again with um some more foundation and it'll be um you'll see more of the color of the foundation rather than your skin tone not skin tone rather than your spots excuse me I'm just checking my comments on youtube for some reason the comments on youtube um Go away. <laughs> like when somebody comments, it kind of like stays there for a minute and then it kind of just fades away. So not like uh, Instagram, not Instagram. What is this? Facebook. Not like Facebook where it actually stays on the screen. Okay. And that's my foundation. <laughs> Close it up. And this is the Dewy Smooth, if I didn't mention it before. So this means Dewy just basically means it's gonna be a little more I'm on the glistening side. Not too crazy, but um it'll be more gl like glossy, so to speak. Um so yeah. Sorry, just blending my concealer in a little more. <laughs> a little more. Which will move me into kind of like this would be our last product, but I wanna just give my face a little bit of a refresh. Um, which is setting spray. You need a setting spray, gotta have a setting spray. This is the Milani um, Rose Water Prep and Refresh um, Setting Spray. And I also have the BH Cosmetics Paradise Refresh Setting Spray that I got from uh, 
think it's this TJ Maxx. I think I got this from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx or Ross for $2. I think the original retail is only like $6 or $7. Something like that. Why is it not spraying? <sighs> Defective product. You bastard. Oh, no, there it goes. It's a very light mist. It smells nice, too. So I wanted to just be able to, there we go, blend my concealer a little bit more on my eye. Oh, God. I'm going to hide my stuff from you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a lock on my drawers. So yes, this gave it a little refreshing. I, you can use the Milani as well, just because. And it does smell like roses. The prettier rose smell, more perfumey than actual roses. Because you know, roses really smell like poo poo poo. <laughs> and let it dry, let it set your foundation back down. Um, if foundations are a little too matte for you um, before you finish, or if you need to make a change, always like refresh your refresh your face. Um, shut up, Anthony. <laughs> you can always refresh your face um, using a um, a setting spray uh, to give it back some life and helps you you know allows you to you know move your products around and blend them a little bit better. So there's that. Um, going back to the concealer. So here is where um, you will bring back kind of like the light in your face, which I'm going to use the concealers I used earlier because I cannot find my um, more, I guess, my tone concealer. Not this one. This one I said is more on the warm side. I might have to end up using it, but... Um, what's this here? Yeah, yeah. So this is the, uh, that I'm using right here, just to show y'all real quick, is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. This is, again, like I had mentioned earlier, um, hydrating versus, like, more matte. Like, the Dewy Smooth will be considered a hydrating foundation. Um, I didn't bring out a matte foundation. Oh, yes, I did. I did bring out a matte foundation. Yes, the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Aqua Glass. I was going to use this one, but I always, when, whenever my, my Fit Me is out, that's what I gravitate towards. I was supposed to use this one, though, but this is also another brand. Beauty Bakery has really cute, cute stuff. Um, but I'm going to mix the Pretty Natural Foundation with my Camo Concealer to kind of give me, to kind of tone down the Camo Concealer just a little bit. Um... Because I don't want my highlighter to be too light. Um, so. So it's just mixing both of my hand. You can you can like let them warm up a bit. Um, like by just letting them sit in your hand for a little bit. But. You can also not. Whatever works for you. <laughs> Excuse me. So I just put it here and here because um, we're going to blend it across anyway. And for that, I'm going to use this. I usually would use my BB blender, but again, my BB blender is not as damp as I would like it to be. So just blend it down just a little bit, not too much, and then start taking it across. Be careful not to poke yourself in the eye like I always tend to do. And I might still use my baby blender just a little bit. But this is also another type of uh, concealer brush 
which is also in that line of BH cosmetic brushes that I had mentioned earlier, um, which is one of my favorite brands of brushes. If anybody got any more any more questions, feel free to ask me some questions. Like I said, you are absolutely not distracting me. Um, and I'm here to help as much as possible. See the difference <laughs> and what highlighter does for your face. See how much bigger this eye looks than it does this one and how much more light this face this part of my face looks. Thank you. Yeah, I try to I like to I like the more natural or like clean girl. It's what they're calling it now. Looks like kind of soft glam. I love those kinds of looks because um You know, you can look dressed up without actually having to be like full glammed and um, things like that. Yes. Yep. And it also helps for like, uh, I know like, you know, social media and things like that. Now we have women who are, uh, you know, of different cultures, different religions and things like that that are doing full glam face and makeup but you know there are some ones that will rather a more toned down look as well um even some older women who don't want to do like the full craziness you know prefer the more clean girl or natural face exactly where it is still be modest So if you really for real do wanted to get into makeup, um, the foundation I use today is a really good foundation. The, the Pretty Natural by Essence. Essence makes great products. That's a really good foundation. Um, he he playing with me, but <laughs> but as you can see, I, I just blended it and everything. Um, I can't really like, go back and show you because I kind of already did it. But you blend it with a brush and a um and a uh, beauty blender. Ducky says, "Sir, bye." Am I a fan of contour? Not really. No, I'm not necessarily a fan of contour. I mean, not for me personally. I love people that can do it. Um. Forgive me, y'all. One second. I have to switch chairs. This chair is like bothering me. I don't know how to pause this. So I'm going to just tip y'all for a second. Excuse me. Forgive me, y'all. My chairs, unfortunately, are not big girl friendly. So, I had to switch my chair because it was either that or I let y'all see me fall on camera. Just being completely honest. Um, But no, as I was saying, I'm not really a fan of contour. Not for me. Uh, I just feel like it's just... I don't know. It just doesn't appeal to me. Um, you know, though it's pretty when it's done and it's done right. Um, but 
the idea of like completely, um, almost completely, because you know, makeup, depending on how you do it, can change your face entirely. I don't, I don't really like the idea of doing that to my face. Because I like my face. I think it's cute. <laughs> yeah, and them extra steps, like it's, it's so much longer. Like, usually if, if somebody says, oh, not this makeup look took me this long, or it took me three hours, that's because they were contouring, contouring requires a lot of patience and a lot of time that, you know, as y'all saw earlier, if you were here, I don't have that luxury with these kids being around, especially when they're around. So, you know, I do what works best. That's it. So it's pretty, but it's just not for me. Um, I believe I can contour. Like I have an idea of how to contour. Um, but I, I just don't. I, I don't particularly do it. And contouring is just basically um, kind of over bronzing, so to speak, your face. And make sure you're chisel, chiseling out like all your areas. Like your cheekbones would be more and your aim will be more prominent and it will be a lot more lighter in these areas. Um your nose will look smaller. You know, that kind of thing is what contouring is. Yes, to make them stand, make them look smaller, make them stand out. Absolutely. Yep. Hi, my kid. I haven't talked to you in a long time. How are you? So, yes. Sorry, try to make sure my concealer is blended. Blend for your life. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's it's very much a lot of work. Very much a lot of work when you're doing um contouring. But make sure you you blend. Like blend, blend, blend is your friend. Trust me. You want everything to be as seamless as possible. You don't want anything to look like it's just kind of sitting on your face. Um so yes, blend, 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 blend. Okay, I'll blend you. He really should. He should let me. Yo, uh, like this. If I can get so many likes on this, I don't know how many likes it would take him to get me to do his makeup one day. But I would love for Anthony, since he's on here, to allow me <laughs> to do his makeup on camera one day. One time for the one time. Since you seem so interested. Hi, Miss Gina. Don't don't say okay. Now y'all heard there's witnesses on this live that are watching you, Anthony, say that it was okay for me to do your makeup one day. Sir. Little sir. What can I do for you, sir? Look, that's an excavator jelly. I see. You like excavators, huh? Yes. That's cool. And the excavator can. Thank you. Now, can you buy me an excavator at home? Yes, I will buy you an excavator. At home? Yeah, at home, yep. <laughs> so, can you go back in your room so I can finish talking? Thank you, my love. Are you hungry? I will be in a minute. I'm going to make you some dinner. Is that cool? All right. Go ahead, back in your room. Thank you. I always try to like, um, when I'm concealing and hot, when I'm highlighting, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm highlighting my areas. I try to do them one area at a time. Um, because some 
products dry faster than others. Some of them oxidize. Um, and even though you can spray in between, um, I don't want to do that today. <laughs> Um, and sometimes I don't really have the time to sit there and keep waiting for it to dry, to have to do it again. Like, I just be like, you know what, just do it one place at a time. And then that way each time, each place gets its own, um, attention, you know. I probably did my chin a little too much, but that's okay. Nothing a little bronzer can't fix. And I said under here would be another place to um almost played myself. To do this is also like where people do the contour, but I do like to highlight under my cheekbones. Hi Karina. How are you? Hi Danielle. Oh, all these wonderful people. How y'all doing? And stuff and things. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so... So you can see where I did it at, but I made sure it was kind of blended. That's going to blend more because I'm going to put like bronzer and things under there. So don't worry. And we're doing this side as well. Probably a little too much, but that's okay. I miss you too. Yeah, you hear him over here uh, talking about he going to come get his makeup done. Asking questions and stuff. He a mess. It's all right, though. I'm gonna get him. He got. He got to come around my way sooner or later. How are the babies doing? Well, you know, I'm a tally tally, and um. They lying, he look cute, so. They are not. Hi, Tally, Tally. Sorry, I cleaned my camera off, y'all. It was looking a little dirty. Go away. Oh no, I don't know how to bring the comments back, y'all. Oh, that didn't work. Treachery. I lost the comments for a second, y'all. I can't find it. How to bring them back up. I'm so sad. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to figure that out in a second. 
That's not camera dirty again. Ugh. I can't get it together. Can't get right. Can't get right, y'all. This is blasphemy. I had to look it up on um you <laughs> on Google. I mean, I'm gonna get the comments back. Like, what the hell? Um Hardaway, Hardaway, Hardaway. Let me tell you something, Hardaway. Don't make me have Karina beat on you. He always asked me, can, I, can, I, can he give me a shape of You should me get a shape up. No. I am is a girl that don't like shape ups, okay? On me. I like my little sweetheart hair, hairline. See my little heart right here? That means I'm a wonderful person. Stop being a hater. He's a, he's a he's just a hater. That's all. That's all right. Like I said, he got to come back to Philadelphia eventually. And I'm going to be right here. Same spot all the time. Yeah, I got makeup on my shirt, but whatever. All right. See, his wife, one of my homies. I tell him, we're we going we gonna to take him out and go to our little island with the insurance money. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. He thinks it's a game. Absolutely not. You know how long it took me to grow my hair out, and I can't believe you cut your hair. You going to have to FaceTime me so I can see. Yes, my dear. Crusty Crab Pizza. Oh, Lord. Hi, Jana. How are you? Or Jana? I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Hi. I can see your comment. I got to keep pulling them up because for some reason YouTube doesn't keep the comments up on... Um, up on the thing but hi how are you that's awesome thank you for joining the live i really appreciate it i really do yay I'm also live on YouTube. I did mention that earlier for those of you who are just now joining. I'm all, I'm live on YouTube. So I got another viewer on YouTube. Hello. Do you have any questions for me, John? I'm answering like, you know, beginner makeup questions or shoot, questions in general. You know, I'll, I'll answer. I gotta figure out how to keep the comments up on YouTube. I don't know why it doesn't keep the comments up like Facebook does. It's weird to me. But it says that it does when you tap it and then it just fades away. Huh. Hi, Star. What color will you make your eyeshadow? So, oh, so today I have um, my one of my Juvia's Place palettes. I probably have like just about every palette, every one of her beginning palettes. Um, this is a Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral palette. Um, so, I think uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna open it up so y'all can see the color story. Um, no, thank you for asking, Jana. Um, am I pronouncing it right? Is it Jana or Jana? 
but yes, this is the color story of the Juvia's Paste eyeshadow palette that I have today. The Coral 3 palette. Y'all know, okay. Thank you. Yep, so I was thinking, um, I don't know. Look my cousin shake. Hey, cousin. So I think I'm going to go with, um, because I'm, I'm doing like a more like wearable kind of beginner friendly look. I think I'm going to use maybe these two colors, like this pink color right here and this shimmer right here. <laughs> um, and yeah, maybe a little bit of this brown as well. Those will probably be like the, the three colors I use. Um, I, I had learned the trick. I believe I learned it from like Instagram or like Jeffree Star. Somebody had mentioned usually color palettes, of course, are set up like, you know, kind of in fours. Uh, so usually if you look at them, the four different like quadrants are, they kind of match together. So that's a, a good way of like kind of trying to figure out like the way your eye look should or kind of should go. So, yeah. But, of course, you can use them any way how you want. But that was, like, a little tidbit I wanted to mention. Um, like, see how these kind of match together. Then these. Then these. Like, you know, things like that. But, yes. So, um, I'm done with my highlighting, I believe. Oh, no. I do my forehead. So, I always like to do my forehead um, as well when I do my highlighting. And I don't highlight my forehead too, too much. Hey, it's enough. Yeah, yeah, I found it out like, um, Probably pre like right before the pandemic, I was, I was watching something. I I can't think of where I got it from or who said it. I believe it's either Instagram or was on YouTube. I was watching. I was like, that's really smart. So yeah, I you know, kind of since then I kind of like kind of like using that little rule of thumb um, when I'm doing my eyeshadow. I wish I had credited the person, but I really really don't remember. Um, where that where it came from i was like oh my god that was so smart hey mel yes and some people like kind of highlight down their nose i'm not you know um contouring or anything so i don't usually do all of that i just use my highlighter when i get to that point right yeah same here i i, I kind of struggle with trying to decide where my eye look is going to go. So I just kind of like, kind of usually go with the same things. But yeah, it's a good way of like, give you an idea. Yep, I agree. Oh, thank you. They're press-ons. They actually are press-ons. These are the the, um, the Kiss Gel Fantasy press-ons. They were like $8 um, from Ulta. Yep, I decided to put them on. I'm like, let me try to look, you know, a little put together for, <laughs> for my people. <laughs> so, um yeah, that's what they are. It's only like my second time putting on press ons, but press ons really come in the clutch. I remember using them as like a kid. Um, you know, you get the little ones from the dollar store and things like that. But I've been getting more into them because it just gives you like a more polished look. Go in your room. So, um, oh. So now, um, just to kind of set the concealer, um, I'm going to use my um, chalk dust. <sighs> my chalk dust setting powder um, by the crayon case. And everything I use today, um, if you want to watch the playback, is all affordable products. I believe nothing should be over about $20. Um, so we talked about concealer. I use the Elf Camo Concealer today. Um, 
just to kind of give like a recap because we have new people. Hi, welcome in everybody. So I use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is a more highlighting concealer for me. It's in the shade Medium Sand. And I also used uh, a warmer one. I mixed them together, which is Deep Olive. So I mixed these two, the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. Um, I also used the Milani um, Rose Setting Spray. And I use the BH Cosmetics Paradise Refresh Setting Spray, which I also will use these two at the end. You don't have to use two. That's just something that I do, um, you know, for my own personal. I just use two setting sprays. I don't know why. It's weird, but I do. <laughs> and the foundation I have on today is the um, Fit Me Matte. Um, I keep saying matte. Fit Me Dewy Smooth uh, Foundation in the shade 330 for anybody that's near... Or close to my shade and I said our summer shade would be like a 335 336 um, as a color corrector I also use the LA girl pro concealer um, peach corrector which is like two ninety nine three dollars something like that somewhere around there uh, from the hair store this also has concealer colors as well and it has a very wide shade range it's like a holy grail product for me um, for my brows I use the Makeup Revolution uh, Dark Brown Eye Pencil. It's a duo end. has a thicker end on this end and then a more sharp pencil on the other end. Um, well, not sharp pencil, but, you know, a little teeny one, more fine-tuned pencil on the other end. So I use that. I also used my Crayon Case Eyebrow um, Eye Pomade, you know, Eyebrow Pomade as well. And... To kind of like set my brows down, I use the NYX, the Brow Glue Brow Gel. And, of course, in clear. They also have a tinted brow gel as well that's really good. If, you're, if you don't feel comfortable using a pencil or using the pomade, you can also use a tinted brow gel um, to give you the same kind of look here. And um, and then you, of course, clean it up with, with the concealer. And... I believe it's all the products that I had used so far, but I mentioned a few and I will make sure that I link everything in the comments or in the description box um, so you all can see, um, you know, everything that I was using. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to set my concealer, just taking my beauty blender and just kind of like dipping it in there and kind of dusting it off. And this you just kind of follow how you did the, your concealer. And I like to kind of work it, like pat it in. You can leave it there. So baking, that would be considered baking. If you leave it there while you do your eyeshadow or the rest of your face, that's what baking would be. And it just, you know, helps yourself to set, set a little more, gives you that more matte look. And, um, again, that's for more like when you're contouring and things like that. That's when I would, I would do like baking. Um, I don't really recommend baking for people with drier skin. I mean, people do it anyway. You could do what you want with your face. It's your face. Absolutely. None of my business, <laughs> but, um, it can dry out your under eye a little more than you want it to. If you have a uh, drier skin. Lord, my gremlins are arguing as per usual. Come save me, y'all. I'm in the house with two Sagittarians. I don't know what to do with myself. Sorry, checking the comments on YouTube. Oh, sorry. If I said it, if I if I say anything too fast or um I, I don't mention or something like that, you miss something. Don't be feel free. Feel free to ask me again. This is the crayon case chalk dust setting powder. It's in the color. Oh, it, um, am I a C? Sorry, let me just. Yep, in the color C. So I believe she does it because everything. Of course, if you don't know, this is a 
by two percent the crayon case she does like school supply type makeup so everything is like having to do with school so instead of a color she gives they go by like a b c d like that um and i'm not sure how many different powders she has but i know she tries to have a shade for everybody's skin tone um I live for the crayon keys. No problem. And I hope I made things pretty easy for you all who have been um, watching and those of you who are going to watch the playback. I really do hope I made it pretty uh, pretty easy for you um, when you go out here and, you know, are buying makeup and things like that. <laughs> Get your notes. <laughs> I know that's right. I'm a note taker too. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. I try to make things as uh, easy as possible and simple as possible. Yes, I wish I could go with you. Oh my goodness. Anybody shop the Bath and Body Works sale today? I did. I wasn't supposed to, but I did. Don't judge me. That's what happens when you have adult money. Nobody can tell you no. Well, people can tell you no, you just don't listen. Because my best friend Shorty was like, you don't need nothing. One, one of my best friends. You don't need nothing. You don't need nothing. I'm like, mind your business. So do. I need it all. Girl, yes. Gotta get rid of the kids first. Don't judge me. <laughs> do not judge me. I didn't go overboard, though. I only bought, like, six things. And they're all brand new. Things that I don't have. So they are. Hmm. I did need it. I need it for my therapy. Yes, there's a 550 sale going on right now. Girl, go get it. Run. Do not be. I, I encourage all spending. So long as your bills are paid. My bills are paid. So you can't judge me. Dag blast it. She said, girl. <laughs> uh, hi, brother. My brother's watching. My brother and my dad are watching. Oh, my Lord. My nerves is getting bad. My brother calls, my brother calls, calls me, calls doing makeup, uh, playing with crayons. And ironically, I have the crayon case makeup. <laughs> oh, I can't stand him. But, uh, so what I'm going to do is, it's going, I guess should be considered baking because I'm going to do, hi, I'm going to do my, uh, my eyeshadow. So a good way of, uh, so eyeshadows, no matter how high end or low end or, you know, affordable they are, they have fallout. It happens. Um, so to keep your face from turning the colors of your eyeshadow, you can always, um, shopping is life. <laughs> it is. Look, you are, <laughs> look at the crayons. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you could just pat some eye some eyeshadow, excuse me, pat some powder under here, right? And just kind of like leave it sitting there. What color are you gonna put on my on my color lips? Wait, on. What color lipstick am I gonna put on? I am going to go with what shade is this? Sorry, I don't have my lips. My uh, okay, four ten pleasure. Um, by Milani. It's that new Milani lipstick. I forget what these are called, but the new Milani lipstick is the shade I'm going to put on today to kind of go along with the coral kind of neutral look that I'm going for. Um, and I will line my lips with the brown liner as well. Yep, that's the color I'm going to put on. Do pink. 
Oh, Lord. I mean, it's kind of pink a little bit. No? Not pink enough? <laughs> Just kind of going to dust it on there. Just a little bit. And you're gonna, just going to leave it. You're going to leave it like it is. So that it catches the fallout when you go to um, do your eyeshadow. So that way, like I said, if you're using different color eyeshadows, things like that, it doesn't um, kind of mess your um, under eye up. So, without further ado, I'm going to go in... Yeah. So I think I'm going to start with this brown. Maybe we could do kind of like a smoky eye kind of look with this like brown. It's actually a lot darker than it comes up on camera. Um, well, not too much darker, but it's a little darker. It's not as red as it looks on the cameras. So just... Tapping in here. Sorry, I need to swear everybody can see. Can see. And I dust it off. I don't have a mirror in this palette, which I hate. I hate when mirrors don't come in eyeshadow. I uh, hate when eyeshadow palettes don't come with mirrors. Um, because it kind of makes it a little harder to do, especially when you're doing videos. But I'm going to bring this, I'm just going to pack it in. I'm not blending it yet, um, all the way across my crease. And I have what I believe are hooded eyes. So, you know, kind of like when your eyes relax, you can't really see it. So with that, I just take it up a little bit more um, over my eye. Kind of like a little bit closer to my eyebrow. So that when my eye closes, or relaxes, I should say, not closes, you can see the shadow. I envy those who have a lot of, like, surface area <laughs> up here. Because, um, man, it just seems like it's so effortless when they go to do their makeup. I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit. I did see a girl, she had took some like eyelash glue and kind of like basically folded her, took her fold up and like, and, and it gave her like a seamless area to do her eyeshadow. I thought it was really cool. I haven't tried that yet. I will, maybe I'll do a video if I actually do try that technique. I thought it was cool that she did that because you couldn't tell that her eyelid was, um, you know, it's glued open, kind of, sort of, like. So I thought that was really cool. And she said it. She said it wasn't uncomfortable, either. So that was interesting. <sighs> this process. <laughs> Let me tell you. This process is something else. Oh. 
anybody have any like makeup idols i guess like makeup artists that you really like to watch or kind of want to like try to implement um one of mine is most definitely super Saint is one of mine there's another there's a girl i, I believe she went to my high school um Estefan estefania estefani goville I, th I think she's on my face oh thank you my best friend said me oh but she does some really great uh, great eye looks um I think mean, she does really amazing makeup. And there's a guy on TikTok. I cannot think of his name right now. Um, yes, I watch TikTok a lot too. There's a guy and a girl on TikTok that I absolutely love to watch them do their makeup. Like, I'd be so, like, in awe of them doing their makeup. And they are so, like, I think the guy has a lot of following. A lot of followers. But I don't believe the girl has a lot of followers. But either way, both of them are kind of like very underrated um, makeup artists. Okay. So you see how I just packed it all in. I didn't blend anything as of yet. Um, which I'm going to take a different brush. And as you can see, this of course is from those pack of BH Cosmetic Brushes. So I'm going to take a different brush from this same pack of brushes. These are just some of my favorite brushes. And they're like right here, easily accessible. Um, I think. For that brown, do I want to do? Sorry, I can't decide if I was going to do the pink with the brown. I think I'm gonna blend it up. I'm gonna, like, I kind of like tap a little bit in here and tap a little bit in here to kind of like mix them a little bit and see how that turns out. I never, I never plan my makeup looks. Um, so if I seem a little dis, a little disorganized, that's why. Cause I never know what, like, what exactly I'm gonna do till I look at the eyeshadow palette. Um, and I'm just going to kind of like blend it out, like in a circle of motions and blend it up into my eyebrow, kind of like loosen up that line so it's not as harsh. Um, Anybody going out for Halloween or taking kids trick or treating or anything like that for Halloween? Halloween is probably like one of my favorite holidays, but we're not going out this year. Uh, just don't trust the world right now. <laughs> oh yeah, yep. Yeah, just blend them. And I could have, I could have blended this brown shadow like by itself. Um, as well, that works too, if you want to go that route. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm a, I'm a attempt, I'm going to attempt to decorate for them. Because they are really excited, and I don't think, I think we took them trick-or-treating. I don't think they've been trick-or-treating in like two years. Yep. Since like the whole pandemic has started, we haven't been trick-or-treating since then. Um, And I feel bad, but it just seems like it's always something. Like now with the fentanyl and the candy, and it's like, are y'all serious? Like... You gotta be an evil person to want to literally kill a bunch of kids. That's just, it's horrible. Really, it is. 
And I feel bad because it's like kids can't even enjoy the holidays anymore. Oh, my favorite celebrity. Oh, man. Um, I guess it depends on... Like, like for favorite, like, music artists or, like, celebrity overall? Because there were... Music. Who? Hmm. I don't think I have any one specific person that I like, though. <sighs> so, okay. I know the world is pissed off with him right now, and so am I. At the whole entire situation. But I've always been a very big Neo fan. Musically. I've always liked his music. Hi, Yana. My niece is joined. I've always liked Neo's music. Um, even though he is very arrogant. And some, you know, kind of narcissistic. And just the way things are happening around him is just crazy. But he's always kind of been that way. But musically, I always think, I always felt like he was a genius, um, musically. Um, so, yeah, he's always been, like, my my, my top. Um, who's your favorite? Yeah, who's, that, who's everybody's favorite music artist? He's <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Jay Howell. I don't. I know that name, but I don't know the face. Ah. Oh man, Rihanna. You know, I used to. I have to sadly admit, I didn't like her at first. I'm gonna go in with this color too. I think I'm gonna put it all across my, um, my eyelid. This color in the end. Um, yeah, I didn't like her at first. I didn't like her attitude. I didn't like. Her, I just felt like she was like kind of mean in the beginning. Um, and then she bothered me a lot. I don't know. I don't know why, but I didn't like her at first. But if something, I don't know. Something in me just changed. Like I guess I, I guess I started separating the music from the person, but then I just started kind of like not keeping up with her, but seeing a change in her her like maturity level and things like that, it kind of made me start liking her a little bit more. So yeah, sorry to admit I did not like her at first, but I do love her now. I I think Rihanna is wonderful, and so is her music, and so is her makeup. Ariana Grande. Oh, Ariana Grande. <laughs> I've been a friend of Ariana since Victorious. <laughs> I, I've always loved Ariana. I think she's so, she's just so sweet and humble sometimes. Like, and I always say sometimes because when she gets on her little, gets the cussing on, on uh, Twitter, child. I didn't even think Ariana could cuss until I saw when, uh, she cussed about she cussed about something on on Twitter, and I was like, "Ariana, cussing!" <laughs> like it kind of threw my life off because you look at her, you know, she's so sweet, and you know, you see this baby face, and you're like, "You know how to cuss?" Like I don't even look right. So yeah, Ariana Grande is def definitely uh, someone I, I like a lot. And that's that's one that's one of the few like artists that me and me and Aaron had in common that he liked because he liked her song uh Seven Rings. <laughs> he liked her he liked that song. It was kind of funny because he's more of a you know uh rock and rap kind of person. But he liked Ariana Grande.
Right. My music. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of them people too. I'm one of them people where my music is. <laughs> I have so many playlists of like different stuff. Like I love country music. I'll be Garth Brooks in it to Carrie Underwood in it to Jessica Simpson. Then I'll turn around, listen to Cardi B, Glorilla, back to Maxwell, back to Chris Brown, to Ariana Grande, to Blackpink, to J Park, to BTS. Like I, I be all over. <laughs> I'll be all over with my music. Like, do not drive in the car with me and give me the aux because you're gonna be like, what? What are you doing? Because then I mess around, put on Paw Patrol. I listen. I don't give a. Yeah, really, it's how you feel at the moment. I like Nicki Minaj too. I'm, I'm upset with her a little bit. How things have been going, just a little bit. Um, but I am a Nicki fan. I've been a Nicki fan for years too. Like, you know, and I'm, I'm, for, I'm not one of them ones who can choose between Nicki or Cardi. Um. Only because I, I like both of their music. I mean, of course, I've been a Nicki fan longer. Um, but I don't know. I think they're two great artists that, you know, just need to get together. Like, we all, we grown. <laughs> I can't be angry forever. You just can't. <laughs> Too much life to be lived to be sitting there be, being angry and beefing over, you know. Even though she, did, I, I, I feel like she deserves a couple of Grammys, but you know everybody feels differently. Um, sorry, I gotta keep checking the. Checking the comments on YouTube because they fade, unfortunately. Yeah, but it's definitely how you feel, how you're feeling in the moment. Um, I am gonna do some shimmer. Um as well. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. And for the shimmer, um, I'm going to wet my brush a little bit with some setting spray. Using the same brush that I packed that pink on with. Oops. Oh, just so y'all can see what I'm just kind of spritzing the brush. Um, wetting the brush helps to the, to pick up the shimmer a little better. Also, you can also use your finger and kind of like pat it, pat it on. I have these nails on, so I'm worried about like scratching myself. So I'm just going to use the, um, the wet brush. And I think. <laughs> I think I'm hi, baby sister. My, my gosh, sister Dior is watching. For a while, though, Nikki and Cardi were friends. You, you know, I think it started out that way, or something. I don't know. You know how the, how how the media does. They rather pit pit women against each other than to see them work together. So, you know, there's that. So, I, hi, thank you. So I'm just going to pat this shimmer on. I really, really wish I had a mirror and this eyeshadow powder. I'm just kind of seeping it half the way across. Let me see. Maybe I got like a little mirror. Yup. Ha ha ha. I have a little mirror. Don't judge me. I get excited when I discover things. 
one of them little pocketbook mirrors. Sorry if I'm blocking away. I'm just gonna, gotta be able to see. I tried using the camera as kind of like my viewfinder, but it wasn't working out for me. Oh, so basically, I just sprayed, before I started putting the, the shimmer on, I sprayed it with some setting spray just to wet it a little bit. Um, and that helps to pick up the pigment better. And I just kind of just was patting it on to where I wanted the shimmer to be. So I started like over in the crease here, like over in like the corner of my, my eye and just took it across like that. It kind of just doing like a half, like a half crease, like a cut crease kind of thing. Yeah. So that's basically what I did. They um somebody had asked what was what was the trick that I was doing. And you know, you could put shimmer anywhere. I use sometimes I put it like right in the middle, right there, and it kind of like blend the outside. But this time I wanted to start like in the inner corner and I took it outwards. Just trying to make sure everything is is even. Hmm. It kind of tapping back into. Just the brown. Um, picking it up with another brush. This is a dry, regular blending, blending brush. I'm just going to like blend this together. So it's not so much of a harsh line right there. Just blending it together like that. See how it kind of like makes it kind of like one 
it's like seamless look kind of ish. <laughs> That's what that does. <laughs> And I'm going to do the same over here. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be trying. So, all right. And I'm going to do this brush too big for that. Hmm. So this is a little smaller um this i think this is bleed more so a lip brush but i use it for eyeshadow just gonna take a little bit of eyeshadow probably the brown if you all can see that brown that i used before a little bit of that and a little bit of the pink just kind of mixing them again and I'm just going to sweep it underneath my eye right here. Oh, no, I definitely clean my brushes. I, I do have a lot of <laughs> a lot of different brush sets. Only because at a point I got like addicted to buying brushes, but I definitely uh, clean my brushes. And when I do clean them, depending on how dirty, I use Dawn dish soap to wash my brushes and I let them dry overnight. Um, yep. Like these brushes I'm using, after this, they probably are most definitely due for a wash. Like a nice deep cleanse. Um, only because like they've been sitting. So it's time for them to get a good washing. And I did use them recently too. Yes, make sure you wash your brushes. Brushes are reusable. There was a point I said, where I was just buying brushes and then, and I had like would use and use and use and use brushes and then I would buy and I would have like another pack and I would just start, instead of washing my brushes I would just use the new pack and then you blank and you have a hundred dirty brushes don't do it to yourself just don't <laughs> it's a stressful process sitting there I think I think it legit took me um it legit took me like like two hours, two and a half hours to clean my brushes. My sister's like, you still cleaning your brushes? I'm like, Bonnie, I'm still cleaning my brushes. But then I discovered using Dawn dish soap. I just One day I didn't have any hand soap or like antibacterial soap is what I use to clean them. I'm like, I'm going to use this Dawn. If it can clean ducks, it can clean brushes. It was hard when I first started doing it because my, I'm, my eyes are ones that like water. Um... So, but over time, like, I've gotten, like, used to doing it. You don't have to do this step at all. I just like to make it, like, you know, a seamless look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I also have trouble putting on um, my lashes, which I am going to do lashes for y'all. <sighs> this is a stressful process doing these lashes, but I feel like if I got through the brows, I can do some lashes for y'all. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But um, but yes. 
it uh who chow it does it, it wasn't yeah, it wasn't easy at first but like i said using doing my lashes my eyes with water it would drive me crazy but um you kind of get used to it over time and one day you'll realize like hey i did that without a problem so yeah Yep. I was, I, you know what? I think about that every time we talk. Like, wow. We've known each other since seventh grade and are still friends and never had a problem. Yep. I love having friends. I have friends. Well, I call them my cousins, but I have friends since that I've had since I was like three years old like we grew up together so yeah but yep since seventh grade we known each other um i think i'm gonna wait to put on my eyeliner um after i do kind of everything else <laughs> yeah yeah i mean we don't keep in touch like every day like me and you do but thank you hi um but I mean, they're still on my Facebook and things like that. And I still, you know, can check in on them and things like that. But, yep. I love having long-term friendships. I, I'm... Yeah. So, I'm just going to go ahead and um, dust this off with this powder brush. Yeah, you do. You gotta check on your friends. Yep. I make sure I check in on them and like look at their Facebooks and stuff and make sure everything's okay. And, you know, now everybody's like when you haven't kept touching for a long time, um, is comfortable with, you know, sharing their personal, personal business. But I do make sure at the very at the very least that you know that they're living healthy, happy, healthy, seemingly happy lives. But if anybody ever wants to hit me up and, you know, wanna just talk I am a safe haven for anybody and everybody that wants to talk. I am. I know some people here like, you know, were like, oh, I didn't want to hit you up because, you know, I didn't know what you might be going through and what might be you, you know, be struggling with. And I'm like, don't let my personal problems not make you not come to me with your problems. I'm still here for all of my friends. All of <laughs> Doesn't matter what I'm going through. I'm here for you. So just to put that out there. But as you can see, no fallout. No, no pinkness all down here, crumblies or anything like that down here because we put that powder there to keep it from, <clears throat> from messing up our face. So this is the look so far. I want y'all to kind of see, you know, and next I think I'm going to do, do I usually do my... bronzer i'm gonna do my bronzer next um now my favorite bronzer one of, one of my favorite bronzer is, is actually yes yep <laughs> i've been there i have blue I, I actually have pictures of the very first time i did my eyeshadow i was um having a sleepover with my niece it's probably on my facebook i probably you know tag you so you can see but I, yes i have pictures of that and it was just blue all around here 
And I kind of just like blended it around. Like I didn't know what I was doing. But I, my niece thought it was cute, so we took pictures. But yes. Yeah. But then I learned, put that powder and it'll keep it from falling all over your face and you'd be looking like Natari from Avatar. <laughs> but uh, so this is my Sephora bronzer. Sephora is having a sale that's coming up and they, this will be like 30% off. Um, yes, I know, I know. I'm, I'm gonna get there. I got y'all, I'm gonna get there. I got y'all, I got y'all. But this is one of my favorite bronzers. I know I took out another bronzer now. So Sephora bronzer is a good is a good one. I also love the Essence bronzer. It's a good one. Um, BH Cosmetics is probably like one of my top, top favorite brands. Um, has a good bronzer as well. Milani? Does Milani have bronzer? I don't know. I don't think I've ever bought a Milani bronzer. But I, they might have bronzer. But Milani makes a good bronzer. Of course, Juvia's Place makes bronzer. She also makes blush. And just name a few. Those are a few that I like. But my favorite, my top favorite is probably this Sephora bronzer. And again, I don't believe it was even over like $20. And I think after the sale, it was like even cheaper. So there was that. Um, I also have cream, like cream contour, cream bronzer, which is by, made by Juvia's Place. Um, you know, where I'll be wearing gloss. Um, yeah, I usually like the, I like, a, um, I like matte lipsticks, but, uh, I don't know. There's something about a glossy finish. It just makes it look so, so, so cute. Like I love my lip gloss be popping. <laughs> Morphe and Julius Place. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Yes, they do. Morphe and Julius Place do have some good bronzers for good prices. Yes, absolutely. And don't fret, um, TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, Birds of Cool Factory all have high-end products in them now. I mean, kind of always um, for really cheap prices, like really, really cheap prices. So if you want to get some high-end makeup, but you ball on a budget, check out those places. Trust me when I tell you, check out those places because you will not be disappointed. I have found... Anastasia Beverly Hills, I found Dior, I have found, um, you know, just a bunch of different stuff. Morphe, I found, uh, what's another one that's like higher end? Bobby Brown, but I, you know, we've, we've, we've we found some gems in those places. And I don't, I know people kind of have hangups about it. Um, cause they're like, oh, it it's expired makeup. It's, you know, it's a death of a brand. That's, that's absolutely not the case. That's not why. There's usually like packaging issues, um, you know, or packaging changes or overstock, which is why those things go, go to those type of department stores. Um, and notice I, I took it on my forehead cause you want to put this all on your shadowy parts. Sorry, I want to explain that. Put it all in where your shadow would be, which is pretty much the perimeter of your face. Kind of like a three, like one, like like that. But yes, definitely check out those places. Um, you'll find a lot of BH Cosmetics, like I said, once their collections kind of like are done with, so to speak, you know, because a lot of collections are like limited time, limited editions and things like that. They send them to those places and you can get high-end products again for really cheap prices like i found some Mor morphe lip glosses for like three dollars some abh which is anastasia beverly hills you know for like two dollars like very cheap very very cheap and you still get to you know have the high-end makeup experience without having to spend high-end makeup money but yes dd i love i love morphe their brushes, they have nice brushes too, which you also may come across some Morphe brushes in there as well.
Do you like this one? I love it so much. All right, boo-boo, I'm talking, okay? Mm -hmm. Gotta love kids. They discover one thing and they think, oh, this must be brand new. Let me go show it. I love when they do that, though. Oh, they come show me things like, oh, look what I found. I'm like, oh, did you? That is so interesting. I have never seen Crusty Grand Pizza before. Oh, and that I just did there just kind of like just defines the brow just a little bit more. It was nothing, nothing major. Kind of a little bit like contouring, but not really because I didn't take it all the way down my nose. I just like to make it, you know, um, kind of a little more defined in this area. <laughs> um, what am I doing next? Oh. Blush, 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 blush. I, I think that if you don't wear blush, because some people don't, I think it's weird. If you're doing your makeup and you don't put on some blush, because just how can you not want a bunch of cheeks to be pink or rosy and popping? Blush is where to get to go. This is uh, Milani. This is the. Coral Cove um, Powder Blush, um, which I love. I'm a big Milani fan. Milani makes good blushes, like was mentioned in the comments. Juvia Pla Juvia's Place makes blush good blushes. Um, the Crayon Case also makes blushes. They have like a big like blush book, and I think she also has individual ones. Beauty Bakery makes blushes. Everybody makes blushes. Essence makes blushes. And you have, um, also if you shop on Shein, Shein has really great makeup. I'm, I actually have a video coming out with their stuff soon. They have a lot of really nice stuff on their, on their website, but, um, Crayon Case also makes blushes. And even now Fashion Nova has Made in Beauty. They also have some nice products too. Yes, a whole black Barbie doll. Yes, yes, for real. <laughs> like, Listen, if you ain't blushing, it ain't right. I don't want to hear it. But today I'm going to use my Milani blush. Um, but you just kind of just get it all, get it up on the brush. Get it up on there. Get it on there. And uh, and just tap it on like the apples of your cheeks. I mean, you could do like, a, you know, like that as well. And just kind of bring it up. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Listen. Thank you. Thank you. I love blush. I love it so much. Some people take it like across their nose. I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to be extra like that. I'm going to just, you know. I mean, you know, you see me messy looking cute. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I've, and and um, you can also use blush um, when you're not wearing makeup, which I also like. I like that, like wearing like a nice, um, like doing your skincare routine, putting on a nice like moisturizer, putting some blush and some eyeliner on, maybe like a little teeny bit of like cream, con like cream um, bronzer. And it's just a very nice, like natural look of your face. Without having to put on like a bunch of foundation. But yes. I love it. You know what? I am going to put some blush on my nose. Don't judge me. Yes, yes, yes. So. 
And where she at? Where she go? Highlighter. <sighs> I love a good highlighter. I love everything. I love makeup, period. But a good highlighter? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Listen. Um where I know I had one out. I feel so discombobulated sometimes. Because I had one up here. And I think I might have buried it in all this stuff. <laughs> oh, another powder that I didn't mention. Another like um translucent kind of like setting powder for your count your concealer. And you know you could use it all over the face. Um is the uh I have not, but I hear all good things um about makeup by Mario though. Yes, nip my nose. Jack Frost nip my nose. Yes. Is this? I know a lot of people say they don't really like airspun powder because um, it has talc in it and it can be drying to your face. I mean, but but at this point, if you have a really good makeup routine, it's not that it's not it's not that bad. Yes, Elf lip gloss. So it's, um, someone in the comments named Jana, she said, I recommend Elf lip gloss because it's also a lip plumper and it made her lips look plump and it's a good amount of product. Yes, I Elf can do no wrong for me. They just, they just can't. They can't. They can do no wrong in my eyes. Let me tell you. Like, it just, they just can't. Here we go. I'm not sure if this is on the affordable side. This is Ofra Cosmetics. I'm, I got this in like a boxy charm box or something like that. But they also sell this at TJ Maxx as well. Um, but it's it was like at the ready for me to just pick it up. So I just used this. Um, but yes, Elf, Elf, man, let me tell you. Where is my highlighter brush? I cannot seem to find it. Yeah, yeah, but little sis, let me tell you, don't don't sleep on Elf, 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 Elf. Hell, you right, okay? <laughs> Telling you, Elf can do no wrong for me. I love to love Elf, like. I love their skincare too. I've been using their um camp their hydrating. I put the oh I put the highlighter just at the top of my cheek, right above my blush. Yep, see. Um yeah, I've been using their hydrating toner for whew, forever now. Um since I yeah. Yeah, forever, really, since I was like probably like 17, 18. I've been using it when I started getting like really serious about my skincare. When I realized you're getting older, your skin is changing, don't let it go to waste. <laughs> um, you put it here up on your forehead because you know, anywhere the light, everywhere the light touches, but yes. Um, and also use their cleanser as well. I'm gonna get a smaller brush to do my cupid's bow right here. Just highlighting my brow bone. Because why not? 
But no, it also like brings your brows out a little more and your eyeshadow look as well. Um, I started getting into makeup. When did I start getting into makeup? Like fully into makeup, probably when I was about like 18, 19. It's when I started to get serious about it. Because I've kind of always liked eyeshadow um, since I was younger. But when I really, really got into it, I was probably about like 18, 19. When I started trying to use, like do like... Uh, foundation and things uh, I didn't do my corners <laughs> he's funny well, my friend said sunset you didn't do your corners He is funny. But yeah, so probably about 18 days when I got kind of got serious about it. I did kind of fall off. Like, like he know, right? He teaching me today. <laughs> um, I did kind of fall off for a while. Um, but here and there I still would try to wear like some kind of makeup, some kind of eyeshadow, eyeliner. Um, I didn't start doing my brows until probably about Sheesh. I forget. A couple years ago. Some years ago. Uh, fairly recent, but still a couple years ago was when I started, like, really trying to, like, do my brows and try to do them, like, really well. Um, but, yeah, about my early teen years. Oh, I miss him, too. His little sweet self. I miss him, too. And we we got to hang out again. All right. I'm going to do my lashes next. <laughs> I'm gonna do my lashes next and then I will do um my lips. Just because I don't wanna be like trying to do my lashes and then wipe my girl distress. Y'all distress. So Yes, me me too. Yeah, it it can be um it gets easier. It, it really does. Even if you... The, listen, the lashes... right. I'll be done through these things across the... I'm going to try for y'all. For y'all, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for y'all. <laughs> but if you hear me cuss, don't, don't, tell, don't tell my dad. Um, yeah, it gets easier. Um, starting off with just bronzer on your eye kind of like just blending it in here and then using your finger for like some shimmer and just kind of like tap like tap the shimmer on that's a really really super duper easy way to do your eyes and then and it looks like kind of glammed up like you know what you're doing <laughs> yes i used to have the magnetic lashes i was getting them from um glammetics if you've seen my earlier videos um, I was using Glammatic lashes. It, it, they got a little expensive, especially because at the time she only had the brush on lash glue, um, which is kind of annoying, but now she has the pen. So maybe I'll go back to that. But I do know that Kiss also makes magnetic lashes. Um, oh, I didn't even tell y'all what the lashes was I was using today. That's so disrespectful. I'm using the Kiss Lash Drip Lashes. And these ones are... Dun, 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 dun. drenched so um they're supposed to like have like that wet lash look and i'm using the duo um brush on adhesive for lash glue probably like the best lash glue out there like seriously um it it dries fast 
it's not messy it dries clear as well um and i just i just love it so much really good lash glue yeah i need to i need to try them um my little stalking ass cat sitting right here you better not hop over here you're you gonna be upset you're gonna be upset because i'm gonna pop you oh also mascara i am gonna put mascara on as well i probably should have did that first essence this comes in a four pack on the ulta website for like i want to say 14 is it 14 or is it 12 something like that affordable you you get all four of them full size lash um mascara and um yes this the Maybelline Sky High, which is another one of my favorite brands. If I didn't mention it before, I'm using all my favorite brands. Maybelline Sky High is a good one. And the Colossal Lash, also by Maybelline, are, is a good one. Um, there's all, there's Too Faced makes mascara. There's so many different mascaras out there. You just got to find the one that's good for you. Um, you also have... L'Oreal, L'Oreal, that telescopic lash, chow. Let me tell you something. Is that, is that L'Oreal? I think it's L'Oreal. But Revlon makes good lashes too. They make good lipsticks too. I mean, good lash, look, good mascara, excuse me. And I always try to go for waterproof, like mascaras. Um, just because you don't want that stuff running down your, down your face and ruining your eye look. Or ruining your makeup overall. All right, y'all. My glue should be nice and tacky. <laughs> you want to let it dry for at least like 30 seconds, um, maybe even to like a minute um, to get sticky. And of course, when it's ready, I lose the tooth area. I've seen people put lashes on by hand, like just using just their hands and their nails. I am not one of those people. But you want to try to line it up with your actual lashes. Get it as close to your lash line as possible. I wish I could like be close to the camera so y'all can see. Sorry if I'm blocking the view. I really am trying, y'all. It's not working out. Give me up. Just stay on there. That's all you gotta do.
She over here like, mother, you been over here a little too long. What was you doing? Thank you. I hope they, they don't fight they all right, but that's all right. It's on there. As best as I can get it, y'all. Because my eye is watering. <laughs> I feel like I need to like move it up and try not to mess with it. Nope, it ain't all right. I know, right? It'll be giving better if it stay the hell on there. Okay. Can I just go like this? Can I just, can I just, can I just leave it like that? Y'all yeah, ain't gonna say nothing about this one, right? Yeah, I can't, I don't gotta do this one. <laughs> I don't know why my best friends on here, like, don't play with me. Put that up while I show them before we beat you. <sighs> Y'all killing me. I know, um, um It's, it's it's so stressful putting on false lashes. It is part of me is so ready to be like, just take it off and do it over. It ain't on me, right? All right, I'm sorry. Take two, y'all. Take two. <laughs> It ain't happen. Woo. Okay. I know. I need to just do that. I need to just work those out because this stuff be the stress. This this be the part that make you want to just wipe the whole look off. But I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm I'm be a trooper for y'all. I'm gonna be a trooper. I'm gonna try until I get it. Where did my thingy go? Oh my god. It's sitting in my face. Isn't it? I'm gonna try these ones and stay. <laughs> And try again, try it again. It said trial and error, y'all. Is this trial and error for as these lashes go? But I did, I did can say I did find the magnetic lashes to be so much easier. My best friend is saying the false scara, like um, the false scara individuals. She's finding that really easy. Um, so it's all in your preference, you know, what you want to do. But I did, as a beginner, who was, when I first started doing my lashes, but, um, doing my own lashes. Cause I used to always ask my sister, can you put this on for me? <laughs> in my eyes to get the water in. But she would work through it and would do it. And she's like, you gotta learn how to do it yourself. You can't keep having me do it. Like I had to learn how to do my own eyebrows. And I feel like I kind of got it down a little bit. But... <laughs> Yes. The lash. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Cute cat. Thank you. Um, the lashes are from Ulta. Uh, you can also find them on the KISS website. They're called the Lash Drip Lashes. I always, mo most of my lashes that you see me wear in pictures or out and about or just whatever. Are, are from Kiss. Most of them are from Kiss. They're not usually from many other companies. Ardell does make like nice lashes though. Um, Alright, so tip number two, y'all.
A win is a win. <laughs> I'm going to talk about a win is a win. It's on there. Like, and that's how it's going to stay. Dag blessed it. Yes, absolutely. Yes, your local hair store, Hair Town, um, is more so down here, like in, in Philly, you know, in Pennsylvania, Hair Town is our place. But I know some places have like Sally Beauty, but yeah, don't sleep on your, your hair store. Yes, yes, little sis, don't sleep on your hair store lashes. Actually, there's a store called Street of Me. I don't know if they're even a hair store. They're like a like a convenience store or something, and they've got nice lashes in there as well. Uh, of course, it's, it's run by two men, so they don't know. They probably just be buying, getting stuff for their store. But, but yes, do not sleep on the two ninety nine lashes. You do not need no minks and all that fancy stuff to have nice lashes. I think these lashes, I think normal retail price are probably like ten dollars. I always catch a sale. I always always try to catch a sale. Um, when I'm doing my when I'm getting my lashes. But I'm getting the anything, honestly, y'all. Try to catch a sale. So make sure you look on, be on the lookout for that. If you want to get you some higher end products, um, you know. So I hate to say it, but this phone that Facebook is on is about to die. But I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to try to do it as fast as, fast as I can so I'll see the full end product of my face. Um, if it does any event die, in any event die while we're still on, still on live, I am also on my YouTube channel. The link, um, the live should be up um, when you first go to my channel. The link is on my page as well. Um, so y'all can always come over there and catch me over there if you want to continue to talk to me on the live while I do this. But I'm going to do this as fast as possible without poking myself in the eye. Oh, no. <laughs> yes she left now but lord that girl that cat she probably like uh ma'am it's time to feed us you drawn okay so I got it on my little blink takes me saying I ain't, I ain't glue nothing there <sighs> so about to get into the lip look. Ooh. So, um, I, I'm going to use this. I'm trying to think. Do I have a darker color? Hi, oh, Miss Tracy. Oh, my goodness.
Hmm. So I'm going to use these two, I think. One of them is Plum Rose by Milani. I mean, they're both by Milani. One of them is called Plum Rose. And this other one is called Pleasure from their new line of lipsticks. I forget what these are called. And I'm going to line my lips with a brown liner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Some people overline. I try. I, I don't. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Yeah. Depending on the look I'm going for. But this liner is pretty dark. Uh, just trace your lips out. And overlining, of course, is just going on the outside of your lips to kind of give you like a more, like a bigger lip look. But I feel like lipstick already kind of does that for you anyway. And for this, I'm just going to do the same thing. And kind of marry them together. Best time one of my best friends is here. I told her to do the mm, 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 mm. <laughs> like like that. Okay. Not too much, just enough, because you don't want to lose your liner. And I'm put this in the middle. And right here. In the middle. And just kind of smack your lips together. And depending on how much you want of each color, of course, you can add more. I'm going to put a little bit more liner on just because I lost a bit of my liner. Um, we could leave the look just like this, just like this, but I wouldn't be me if I didn't put a gloss over top of it <laughs> to give it a shine. Um, I think I'm going to go with... Let me see what I got back here. Already on the table. Hmm. Let's we see here. These are the NYX Butter Glosses. I think I'm going to put a little bit of this on it. Just 
just kind of Cause I don't want to take away too much from the matte, the matte look. Um, this is Donut Glaze by Glam Light. This is also a gloss. You of course can wear it by yourself, by itself. Just to give it a little bit of shimmer. And then at the final complete doneness, I'm gonna put on a little bit of eyeliner. I don't know how this helps. But it does. And to top and set and keep your look, you're going to spray yourself again with your setting spray. And we're gonna let it dry it out. Yes, <laughs> my best friends to my slay. <laughs> they are crazy. Now I didn't mention before, like this, it's this live, this phone, the Facebook live is dying. Um, it hasn't died yet. It's, it's keeping on, keeping on with us. So, but this is it. This is the complete and final look that we were doing today. A very wearable in the office if you want at work whatever date night kind of look every day kind of look you know it's what made it more glam is the lashes there are more natural lashes that are less like dramatic i think all looks are wearable personally but you know if you still want to keep it like subtle kind of keep it cute i think this look is perfect for that um out to a party whatever you can wear this this look um Thank you. Thank you so much. Somebody said I love the look. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll just stay on um, and answer any more questions that you all may have. But if you are done, <laughs> this is all you came in for. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you all so very much. Um, I, if y'all want me to do this again, I will absolutely do this again at a better time on a better day. Just let me know. Um, be on the lookout because I do have some videos that are coming out soon on my YouTube channel. Um, you can follow me on TikTok. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Um, of course, I'm here on Facebook. I I am on uh, TikTok. I said TikTok already. YouTube. Whatever. Yes. And I also have an email. All my contact information, how, how to get to me, will be down in the description or, you know, down in the comments. And I also will list all the products that I use today um, on my face as well. So you can go out and get them. You, of course, everything's interchangeable. You don't have to necessarily lose. You have to use these products to achieve this look. You can use them any kind of way, any colors, all of that, whatever. And if you found it helpful, make sure you leave me a like, comment. And again, go subscribe to my YouTube channel.
I need the, I need the views. I need the numbers. But thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I really do. I was kind of nervous. I was kind of like trying to figure it out. So when I, when I initially asked, like, oh, should I do a live? And everybody was like, hell yeah, I will watch it. Like, you know, so I'm like, okay. My best friend was like, oh, that's a good idea. Like, you know, what's your question? So I was like, yeah. I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it tomorrow. And then somebody commented, was like, oh, that's not a good time to do it. Not many people are going to be watching. And I'm like, well, I figure everybody's home on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Can I get your number, though? Can you get my number, though? I ain't looking right now, but I, you know, I, I slide you my number. I'll slide my number in your DMs. My damn best friend tomorrow, can I get your number, though? She's crazy. But, um, so, yeah, I'm so happy that everybody came and watched and sat in. So, I'm here for, you know, I guess we can do it like another, like, Half an hour, 20 minutes, however long. Um, she said, yeah, because I been, I know I've been in the DMs. Lord, y'all are a mess. Um, I would throw a wig on and all that stuff, but that means I have to get up and go look for one. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work that I'm not, not quite willing to do right now. What well, I got close by me at the wedding. Not a damn thing. The shame. <sighs> so, any more, any more questions about anything? Makeup, music. I do perfume. You know, I, I love perfume and um, you know body care combos. I can pretty much answer all of it. Really. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I wish I could play music. Unfortunately, you can't play. Um, copyrighted music on lives because they'll take them down so that's why there was absolutely like no music on here <laughs> i mean unless you want to hear me sing because you know i can sing and stuff i mean i can't but i can because i'm allowed to it ain't just ain't gonna be good <laughs> good per not shut up that me um do i have any good perfect recommendations absolutely i do if you want perfume um depending on what you like i have um <laughs> this one right here is midnight fantasy by britney spears it's like plum i think like vanilla you know that kind of thing in there and the bottle is absolutely gorgeous um this smells amazing smells so good um so that's what when I, I just i just recently got it but i've always liked the scent uh, uh, so I, I like that a lot if you are more into like fresh kind of fruity um i have guest woman this is another good one these and these are keys these can be found at tj maxx ross burlington marshall's all that kind of stuff um guest woman is like a like a strawberry kind of fruity Fruity floral kind of fresh scent, like like clean, like clean girl kind of scent. Um, so there's that. Don't judge me, but my Ariana Grande Cloud is almost gone. Ariana Grande Cloud is probably the best female fragrance because it just goes with just about everything. There's coconut, there's vanilla, there's praline in this, there's marshmallow. I think musk. It just goes with so much stuff, and it's such a. It's a literally like a year round fragrance. You can wear it in the wintertime, summertime, springtime, fall. This is a good one. Um, it is. It's the best perfume ever. I have dogged. Okay, dogged this perfume. I need the three point four ounce, and I'm probably gonna dog that one too. <laughs> um, so that's a good one. Also. Another one of my favorites that I had to stop using it because I was using it so much was is the Jessica Simpson Fancy. Um, the pink one. Jessica Simpson Fancy is a nice, like, warm floral. Again, another year-round scent that you can wear. Um, it has, like, vanilla. I think it has praline in it as well. I forget what else, but it's it's a nice, very pretty, um, cozy kind of scent. Then um, there's Creme Vanille. Creme Vanille by um, Urban Outfitters. That's another good one as well. Of course, it has like cream and vanilla and something else is in it. I think it only has like three notes in it. So that's another good one um, if you want to check any of those out. And don't sleep on Zara. Zara has some really nice perfumes as well. 
Uh-huh. Show sure enough. What was the name of that brow gel you used earlier? The brow gel I used earlier is the Crayon Case Eyebrow Pomade. I'm going to hold it back here so everybody can see. This is the brow tint that I used. The brow gel or brow pomade <laughs> that I used earlier. And the pencil that I used earlier, it was by Makeup Revolution. Um, which is just their, their eyebrow pencil. Um, dual head eyebrow pencil. And mascara, I use the Essence Mascara, the waterproof one. The Princess Mascara is probably the best mascara. Um, but I also have the Maybelline Sky High. I have the Colossal Lash. I've got Better Than Sex Mascara. That's a uh, that's Too Faced, a little more on the higher end, but can be found at Ulta as well. Um, so I have that. Um, I use the Milani Rose Water Setting Spray. Just kind of going back over the products that I used. The concealers were e.l.f. The e.l.f. Camo concealers. Yes, everything that I have here can be found at Ulta. Everything that I use today can be found at Ulta. Can be found at Rite Aid, Wawa, um, CVS. Everything. Everything I use can be found at those places. Absolutely. Yep. Even that lip pencil that I used earlier, which I believe is by NYX, um, can be found at Ulta. Yep, so... Um, and just, just putting it out there for my fragrance heads... Bath and Body Works having a 550 sale. I don't want to be the only one out here shopping. You know, spending money I ain't supposed to be spending. So, yeah, go, you know. I know with some dudes on here, go get that for your girl. I'm trying to tell you. You know, Christmas is coming. Halloween's coming. How about that? Damn Christmas. Halloween is my favorite holiday. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, like, remember the air spun is a, don't judge me. Air Spun is a good um, translucent setting powder for your concealer. I use the crayon case on my face today, which is the chalk dust powder in the color C. Um, I use the Milani, the Milani um, Coral Cove blush today. And the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter. Um, I was supposed to use the e.l.f. putty blush, but I, did, I didn't use it. I don't know why I didn't use it. I, I guess I must have forgot about it. But this is the cream blush. Um, a very, very nice blush. Like I said, e.l.f. can do no wrong in my eyes, okay? Like, so there's that. Am I going to do a look for Halloween? I want to. <laughs> I, I want to. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I'm the big in. Yes. 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 This is good stuff. Good, good stuff. Especially if you want to wear it. Creams are really good when you want to use them just on your bare face. Um, I know I should. I should. Oh, should I should go live. Oh man. Yeah, the cream, the cream is gonna wind it. Um okay. So I could I could do that. I could go live and do a Halloween. You should do it. <laughs> okay. I'm a I'ma look up some inspo um when I get off of here and uh and I'll I'll let y'all I'll let y'all know I'll do it. I'll let y'all know it. I'll plan it out. Um uh, so everybody can be around for it. Um I don't think it probably should I do it on Halloween? Don't be chicken. Y'all rude. That's just rude. Where my dad at? Let me tell my dad on somebody. Where he go? Shoot, my dad probably tell me the same thing. Don't be chicken. You heard what they said. The people want to see it. Look. On Halloween. Should be on Halloween. Okay. So <sighs> y'all making me nervous. <laughs> um, all right. I'm gonna do a Halloween look on Halloween. So if you're not going out and doing anything, Halloween's on a Monday though. Y'all want me to do it on a Monday? Everybody gonna be around for that? 
She said, do it. Y'all have some bad influence. Yeah, you did. You did call my bluff. That's a shame. Mm -mm -mm. Uh-huh. Love you, too. Sure. I feel totally attacked and disrespected on this live today. And this moment. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But, um, yeah, so I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, I believe, you know what? I got off on Halloween, too. It would have to be at night. Yeah, yeah. It would have to be at nighttime. So I'll do it. Let's say... Eight o'clock, Halloween night. We gonna get spooky up this June, <laughs> and hopefully I'll have my um. Excuse me. Yep. Hopefully I'll have my new ring light by then. I I sorry I meant to say that earlier. Sorry if the angle is kind of weird. My ring light has finally blown out on me. I am so sad. I had to have a funeral for her because she was she was she was my ride or die man. But if I finally blanked out, I do plan on buying a new one. I want to like set up my whole like background all Halloweeny and stuff because it is my absolute favorite holiday. So hopefully I'll have that then so y'all can see my Halloween background when I do my Halloween look. And if not, I'm I'm gonna buy like a backdrop and I'll I'll do all the Halloween craziness back here. Do a spooky Marvel character. Who are you pushing my skills? Pushing my skills, girl. Pushing my skills. A spooky Marvel character. Mm, okay me too i love decorating too maybe i'll do storm is my favorite so um yeah storm is my favorite so maybe i can do like a i don't know do a glam skeleton okay a glam skeleton okay that sounds easy. <laughs> that I did Beetlejuice last year. I didn't really like how it came out too much because I got messed up on my nose. But I was Beetle, Beetlejuice last year. Um, <laughs> yep. I still have the green wig and of course the uh, the suit that I wore in my TikToks. Be a Barbie. Oh, that sounds cute. A nice like really pink Barbie look. These all sound really cute. Maybe I could do like one of them on live and then do the other two in like a video. What y'all think about that? Maybe I could do that. Oh, Lord. Stomach hurting. Killer Barbie. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So. That would be cute. Yeah, I think that would be cool. I think it would be really cool. Yeah, so I could do, um, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. So maybe over the next couple of days, I'll do, look at my messages. Ooh, Killer Barbie. Okay, so I'm going to get my materials. We'll say we have the 23rd today. So I'm going to start getting my, my materials together for my Spooky Marvel character, my Barbie character, and my, what would you say? A glam skeleton. My glam skeleton look. I'm going to try to get some things together for it um, and see. Yeah, I can do that. I know, right? See what happens when you get pushed a little? Yeah, you get bullied into doing makeup looks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do see that. <laughs> oh, man. No, 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 no. I, I like the I like the ideas. I always told myself I wanted to do, um, a bu different makeup looks for Halloween. A bully out of uh huh. Right, sure. All right, all right. Facebook. Um, I am on five percent on the Facebook live, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. But remember, I am still on YouTube, still answering questions for. I mean, however long y'all have questions for, I guess. Um, but I know you know eventually. The gremlins have to eat. So probably maybe like, like, like another half an hour, 45 minutes. So if you want to jump over to my YouTube channel, the link is on my page. Um, it's also in my link tree if you're on my Instagram. Um, so it's out there. 
<laughs> um, come over to YouTube and join me. Um, if you don't, thank you so much for watching again. I really appreciate it. This was really a whole lot of fun. And I hope it was helpful and easy for you all. And um, I will see you on the next one. Bye. So I'm still here, uh, YouTube, still here for you good people. If anybody has any more questions, I will gladly answer them. Um, so I say we can do this until about 630. If y'all have more questions, um, I'm trying to see how I can download the live from youtube i mean from not from youtube what's the damn thing with google from facebook <laughs> um okay so i'm gonna put that down since that's fine and i'm gonna focus on y'all hi I wish it would just keep the chats up. <laughs> this is my eye. I really like this look. I like how it came out. Look at y'all making me do stuff. <clears throat> so since this is gonna be my main focus, let me set y'all up. Um Real quick here. Thank you. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, yes, yes. Put these brushes back. I swear, I thought I'd do my makeup. My 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 makeup table be looking like a three-year-old would attack it. Like, like stuff be all over the place. It be makeup on the table. And my table is white. So, you know, I got to hurry up and like wipe it off before it stains the table. I mean, hopefully it never happens. But, yeah, I'll be like, oh, my God, let me have me get this cleaned up. Because this is looking crazy. Or I'll just, sometimes I'll leave it there. And by the next time I go to do my makeup, I'm like, who the hell was on my table? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, that was me. I was on my table. I did that. I did that. <laughs> Like, that's that's what sucks about living alone with kids. You, you don't have nobody to blame but you. Get the products called Pink Stuff. The Pink Stuff? What's that? I have to look that up. You'll never have to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to look that up. Yeah, don't, don't tell me that because, Lord, let me tell you something. My world will never be the same. It will never be the same. But yes. TikTok made you buy it? D listen, TikTok. TikTok about to be just as bad as... Uh, just as bad as, as uh, Instagram and, and Amazon. Because, listen... I follow those, you know, uh, random Amazon finds that just slap that dude. I follow him. I follow somebody named something Judy. Something Judy. I follow her. Listen, I need to, I need to stop following these people because they make me spend money. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go on a no buy. I ain't going to buy nothing. No one I be lying to my damn self. It's like slime or putty. To clean, you know, percent sure. Oh, okay, okay. Sounds like fun. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. I would, I would definitely use it to keep it from the kids. This is the cleaning product. Don't want them thinking it's regular slime, and it's not. I almost put my glasses on, y'all. Chill. I would put back all my brushes 
and then find something wrong with my makeup. It's vegan. Okay. So it's like safe for the kids to touch it and stuff. I mean, not necessarily play with it, but it wouldn't be like harmful to them. Sorry, my hand keeps getting in the way. I keep missing the comment. Okay, that's cool. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. That is good. Y'all ain't see that. Nope. Y'all did not see that. That ain't just happen. Mm-mm. Not at all. Nope. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> no, I don't want to raise. <laughs> Do not come up and set it off. I'm gonna set you off. Dead blasted now. Talking trash about my braids. Just disrespectful is what it is. I'm trying to set y'all up in a good spot, but things aren't letting me be great. So, any more, um, I don't know, questions about anything. About makeup, like I said, about the look. Anything you want me to go back over? Um, any product you, did you miss? Um... <laughs> Any product you missed, any product you are still sure about, any specific brand. I have so many different brands in my drawers. Y'all want to see what my dirty makeup desk looks like? My matches are, um, they're made by Kiss, Kiss Cosmetics, and they are from Ulta. Yep. They are called the uh, Lash Drip Lashes. And me specific, the specific one is called the Drenched, is the name. There's like four different ones of the, of the Lash Strip line. There's also the, what is it? The Couture line by Kiss, which is more of their like luxury, like glam mink lashes. I have, the, the ones I like the most by that line is uh, the Teddy ones. I like those ones. Um, how do you know your undertones? So, um, if you, they say if you look at your veins in your arm and depending on how they appear as what your undertone can be, like you're probably more neutral. If your undertones show up like blue, green, you're probably more yellow or golden. If they show up green and more cool, um, if they show up, uh, like blue, undertone like that kind of thing if they show up like blue something like that like fully blue yeah green i believe is more like you're like more of a yellow undertone um so yeah but yeah like your blue undertones would be like uh i think it's like red undertoned um you can be golden or yellow undertoned like red or pink undertoned there's yellow or golden undertoned and then there's green or olive undertoned um and there's also like i said there's warm there's neutral and there's cool um a good place to go is like i said sephora because they have that shade match um wine and they can tell you exactly what your undertones are um so yeah yep you can always kind of tell when a foundation is more on the cooler or the warmer side because it'll look It'll look like it has like a yellowish kind of tint to it. Like, uh, it might not come off well on camera, but, yep, trip to the mall, yep. Like this one, the Dewey Smooth versus like this one, even though they're two different brands, the, the Instabake, 
this one like one as you can see is more more cooler even though they're kind of like almost the same color this one is a little more warmer it comes like a little bit more yellowish like kind of slightly like this will match as well with me too but there's still some things that like my brines are I have to use with it and this is more on the cooler side um because they have like a softer kind of tint to them like you'll notice once you start to look at the foundations and things like that like again even though these are completely two different shades um this one's on the more like um pinky kind of cooler side and this is more on the warmer side because it has like a yellowish tint to it if you saw like earlier it compared to my skin you could tell that it was a little yellower than it i would regularly like it to be or it should have been so to speak um so yeah there's different ways to tell you um tell your undertones um but yeah good uh, sephora is a great place to start because they can give you that shade match and then you can go from there. You can always look up like dupes to different products. Um, yeah, that's why I mixed it. Absolutely. Yep. Which made it more neutral for me. Yep. Um, yeah. Yep. And everything, everything has dupes. Everything has has uh, dupes, 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 or duplicates. Um, don't let anybody convince you otherwise. There's always a dupe to something. If there's not right now, there will be soon. Um, I have a lot of dupe products as well. So, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with buying the dupe as opposed to buying the original, especially because if you, especially if you're trying to save money, there's nothing wrong with that. Like the Juvia's Place palette I use today, I actually have. A dupe of that palette. I, I don't know which one. I think the Julius Place one came out first. But I'm about to show y'all. Exactly what I mean. Where is she? Sorry. Had to search through my millions of <laughs> eyeshadow palettes. This is the Milani Gilded Gilded Ember palette. And aside from this color, oop, it fell out. It almost has like the same color story. It comes off a little bit more warmer. Um on camera, but they are almost the same. The oh Lord, tear it up, ma'am, tear it up. Like, like I said, this one's coming off a little darker than it should, but almost the same color story, except for the golden ones in here. So everything has dupes, and I'm pretty sure there's another one that's a dupe of that as well. I can't believe that shadow just fell out like that. That's crazy. Oh, man. I don't think I've ever had that happen. It was to an eyeshadow before. That just means the the shadow probably wasn't pressed very uh wasn't pressed very hard. So let me put this back in the box. Where did the box go? Uh -oh. I lost the box. Yeah, well, let's stick it back in there. I love you too. So 
any more um any more questions y'all oops i pressed the wrong thing um i don't have anything i want to like um, i said some other brands um i don't know that i love are yeah some of the brands that I, that I love are, um, what is it? Touch and Soul. Touch and Soul makes good products. I love this primer right here. And also they have a bronzer that I, I really like a lot. ColourPop is another one that can be found in the drugstore and online as well. NYX, Milani, um, Ruby Kisses. That's one that can be found like in the hair store. I'm not sure if it's still in the Ulta, but you can find it in the hair store. <clears throat> they make nice, nice lashes and um, lip products. This pack of lashes, I got this from Shein. Shein makes good products for makeup. Um, so yeah, you really, really can't go wrong. There's so much. Um, this are a big. There's been a big beauty boom since the pandemic has started not that people haven't always loved beauty but it seems like it's the beauty has like taken over social media so you can find anything anywhere at any time so yes and um i will work on those looks i probably maybe i'll work on one tomorrow um oh my personal nails are also from ulta i do most of my shopping at ulta Ulta, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington Co. Factory, Rite Aid. I mostly shop from um, the drugstores. Uh, you know, because I, I like to buy. I like to buy makeup. I like to catch a sale, and they have more sales. And also, I love Ulta's point system because their point system is, is like it equals up to dollars. Um, yeah, so, yeah. I think every... Is every 100 points a dollar? Or every dollar is 100 points? Something like that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think that that's a good thing. But, yeah, these are from Ulta. Um, they're the Kiss... What are they called? What are they? The Kiss Gel Fantasy um, Press On Nails. And they're, they're, they're nice. And they're really, like, you know, like... Like, on there really good. <laughs> so, um, and it actually feels like I have an actual, uh, you know, manicure. Like a pedicure. Well, not, not not pedicure. What is it called? Full set. An actual full set of nails on it. And I don't. And, it's, and it feels nice. They're not, they're not flimsy. Um, I'll see how they do once I go to wash my kids and wash the dishes and things like that. Um, I, my hands are in water a lot. But so far, like, they, they are... Holding on, <laughs> so yeah, I like them a lot. I think I and I I bought a bunch of different um sets of nails. I try to keep them on the shorter side because I have to type a lot for work. So yeah, thank you. I'm glad y'all. I'm glad y'all like them. I I put them on right before I went on live. Probably like maybe like twenty minutes to a half an hour before I went on live. So yep. That's where my my nails are from. And make sure, and when you if you put them if you're gonna put them on make sure you wash your hands and leave your hands and dry them don't put any lotion or anything on make sure you file your nail bed and use the cuticle pusher um that comes with the nails and uh and the glue that comes with the nails I mean if you have like other glue you can use that too but I just use the glue that came with the nails because you want your your nail bed your nail bed has has oils and you want it as dry as possible I even cleaned it up with like some alcohol or you can use like nail polish remover to kind of like dry it out and you know shit and you know like i said file your nail and then put the nail on and it'll last a lot longer but yeah um i would give y'all <laughs> a um makeup table tour but it's 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 a mess like you know what y'all should see this you should see this mess that i made like Look at this. Look at look at this. Look at this. Look at this mess. I ain't even use all these products. What is all this stuff doing out? <laughs> like, this is crazy. But I, I, this is for another video. Don't don't look at that. That's for another video. Don't look. But yes. 
These are some Milani brushes that's just there for display. They're not there to be used. Um, but yes. And this is inside the drawer. Looking a craziness mess. I, I didn't know what to put in here, so I just started like randomly when something falls, like I just throw it in here until I put it back to where it belongs. But yep, this is my makeup table, y'all. And this is my vanity mirror. Hi. <laughs> Oh, Lord. All up in the camera. All right, y'all. So, the time is now 6.10. Um, if y'all don't have any more questions for me, I'm going to go ahead and end the live. Um, but thank you so much for the support. Thank you again so much for being here. I really appreciate this so much. It was so much fun to do this with y'all. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love your company. Thank you so much. Um, I will go live again. Um, I said, be on the lookout for those Halloween looks. I'm going to start looking for like little pieces and things that I can put those looks together. Um, <laughs> I'll make sure I check the comments and remind myself of the things I need to get. Um, so be on the lookout for those looks in the, in the coming days. Um, and love you too. Uh, so I'm going to put that together. And um, yeah, just keep on watching. <laughs>